As you can see here, both teams are still doing their practice throws. Malaysia in all black and Mongolia in all white this morning. Local time here, about five minutes to 10 o'clock in the morning. This is the Parangin Mall in Georgetown City, the capital city of Penang Island, Malaysia, the host for the FIBA 3X3 Nation League. 2022 happening here in Penang Island. Three more days of great FIBA 3X reaction, including today. We'll be here tomorrow, Saturday, and the penultimate day on Sunday. So, for all you lovers of 3X3 basketball action, be sure to continue and stay with us. And that music signaling that we are about to begin here. And both sets of players will be making their way onto the center court here. With the Mongolia leading the way, number 13, the Olympic player, Kulan Onolbata. Number nine is Engtul Bazar Gurev. Number three, Erdenot Makvanorov. And last but not least, number 24, Narangu Erden Bayan. The four ladies of Mongolia playing some great 3x3 basketball this week for their countries and certainly will be hoping for another great day in the office for the Mongolians. Team Malaysia, the home team. Number 19, Tan Sinjir. Number 11, making her first appearance this week is Wong Cha Yi. Number 8, the ever reliable Fu Sweating. And last but not least, number 7, Yong Sin Lu. Team Malaysia, flying the flag of the home country, the host nation, Malaysia. And we have Donald Francis Green and uh, Ryan Della Torre as the two game referees for the first one this morning. So we'll begin the proceeding uh, just a matter of moments from now. The coin toss to determine the team that will begin the game and the team that will defend. Malaysia will be hoping for a much better result this, uh, this morning. They've not really been able to get off the mark, save for the win over Mongolia the other day. So certainly Malaysia will be hoping for another positive result against the Mongolians this morning. So 10 minutes of playing time, or the first team to reach 21 will be the winner. Mongolia in white and Malaysia in black are they not there? And passing the ball to Kulan. Udali found the net. First point to Mongolia. And a two-pointer. 
delivered by Hu Sweating. Ang Tool with that in odd. And to go for the two pointer. And the rebounded ball was slotted in by her. So that's another point, making it two all. As you can see from the action replay, did well to catch the rebounded ball. And then back into the net by Ang Tool. And she has this free throw, the first one for Mongolia to give the lead here. And the response was quick enough from Fu Suet Ying. With another two pointer for Malaysia back in the lead here at 4 3. Players got to be mindful of the 12 second shot clock. Here comes Fu Suet Ying. Back to the Mongolians, number three, Erdin Ord. Over the pass there for Kulan. Kulan making sure that one goes in. For point number four, Mongolia. Wong Chai. Her first action this week for Malaysia. Taking the place of Carmen Chan. And the foul men, Malaysia now will have uh, this free throw for Wong Chai. Precision nicely done by Wong Chai. Point number five for Malaysia. Erdinot able to pass the ball to Kulan. Kulan. A nice layup there from Kulan. Tying the score at five all. And a quick reply from Sinjie to give the lead back to Malaysia. This is some great action here from both teams. Actively playing and Kulan going for the two-pointer. They couldn't find a basket. As you can see from uh, the action replay there, Sinjie, despite the challenge, was able to find a basket for Malaysia. Sinjie once more. Behind the arc, Suet Ying, Suet Ying opted for the two-pointer attempt off the board. And it's back to Mongolia here. 24 is a Narangu. A layup there as the sound of the whistle from the referee. It's point number six, delivered by Engtul. And there was a foul there meant this free throw for Engtul, uh, Bazar Gurev of Mongolia the number nine off the board and into the basket that's all that matters the point number seven for Mongolia Yong Sin Lu number seven for Malaysia goes for the basket off the rim Narango the tall Narango almost finding the target there Narango Ball gone out of bound. Of the uh, Mongolian player, therefore, possession back to Malaysia from behind the arc. Sinjie to Suet Ying. Suet Ying goes to the zone. Off the rim. And it is Mongolia who will be given the possession back here. Still lead by one point. Narango, Kulan, and also Angtul. Narango, Kulan, on Olbata. Kulan goes for a shot. Too high over the basket. Seven twelve remaining on the clock here. Two fouls from a Malaysian, one from Mong Mongolia. Sinjia going for the layup. Back to Mongolia here. Kulan. Oh, well intercepted there by Sin Lu. And a reverse shot. But couldn't find a basket there from a sweat ying. Back to Mongolia here. With that in odd, early not takes it to the basket and almost finding the target. 
but it rebounded off the rim. And the first timeout call from uh, the referees for both teams. 7-6 in favor of uh, Mongolia. With 6.45 remaining on the clock here. Kinley contested battle between the two nations, Malaysia and Mongolia. Malaysia will be looking for a second successive win over the Mongolians. And Mongolia certainly wouldn't want to let that happen. With the likes of Kulan, Erdinot and also Entul. The three players looking for the win here over Malaysia. The free throw delivered by Erdinot to extend the lead for Mongolia at 8-6. But this is Sinjir almost finding the basket back to Mongolia. Kulan on Olbata. What a dribble there from, uh, from Kulan. A push there towards Chayi by Kulan. Trying to contest the call from the referee, but the possession has been given back to Malaysia. Second foul from Mongolia. Sinje trickling off the rim and into the basket from Tan Sinje. This is a one point game currently. 8 7 in favor of Mongolia. Well intercepted by Swetjing. Goes for a two pointer. Out of bound, as you can take from, as you can see from the action replay, nicely intercepted by Swet Ying. And we're back to, to behind the arc here with um, Mongolia given the possession here. Kulan. To be retaken. A word from the referee there. Kulan number 13 with Narangu and Erdinot from a distance there. Erdinot looks for a two pointer, didn't get it. Mongolia still has the lead here at 8 7. And back again from behind the arc with Malaysia, given back the possession. Swedging, Swedging. Goes for the shot. Nicely done there by Sweating for point number eight, Malaysia. And tool to Kulan. Kulan looking for the two-pointer. Didn't get it. As you, can uh, you can see from the action replay, Sweating a reverse jump there and into the basket from her. It's 5.39 remaining on the clock here with both teams are tied at 8 all. Kulan with the ball to Angtul. Angtul takes it to the basket. Gone out of bound there of Angtul. Is Malaysia's ball. All the action happening here in Parangin Mall. The two teams are battling it out for the first win of the day here. Sin Lu goes for a shot. Well defended by Kulan. Back to Kulan. And here's a pass for Angtul. Angtul goes for the two-pointer. As you can see here from the action replay, Sin Lu goes for a shot. What a defender from Kulan on Olbata. Still tied at 8 all. It is uh, Mongolia's ball. The referee, Mr. Donald Francis Green, goes uh, to the official just to confirm on one of the details here to make sure that all the stats, all the current standings, are, current scores are in order. Especially the number of fouls as well. Three Malaysia and two Mongolia. Kulan, Erdinot, 
Erdinot goes for the two-pointer. A little bit short there from Erdinot. So which team will it be to get point number nine or ten? Sinjia Hill from Malaysia. Swet Ying. From behind the arc and a two-pointer there. Nicely delivered by Fong Swet Ying. Oh, that's a good shot there from Swet Ying to take Malaysia to 10-8. Mongolia trails by two points here. Yeah. Off some great walk, uh, work there from uh, Fu Suet Ying. Sinjie back to Suet Ying. Suet Ying goes back to Wong Chai Yi from behind the arc. Off the rim there for Wong Chai Yi. A real battle here for the win. And we have Mongolia given back the possession here. 4.42 on the clock, Erdinot. Kulan, always the danger woman for Mongolia. Erdinot goes for the two-pointer. Back to Mongolia and the rebounded ball was slotted in by Kulan to take Mongolia to nine. Oh, it's so exciting here with the two teams really battling it out. Kulan to Erdinot. It is Angtula Waits on the left, but back to Kulan on the right. She goes for the shot here despite the challenge. Off the rim for Kulan, a bit unlucky there. Still 4.06 on the clock. Malaysia with just the one point lead over Mongolia. Kulan, Angtul, the sound of the whistle from the referee, denoting a foul there from uh, Mongolia and possession given back to Malaysia here. Sinjie with the ball, sweating from behind the arc, facing Narangu, still sweating, able to make the shot, but off the rim instead. Wong Chai Yi still keeping possession for Malaysia. Sinje goes for the two-pointer, and she nailed it nicely. It's Malaysia with 12 now. Three points the advantage over Mongolia. And 3.34 remaining on the clock. Malaysia on the offensive here. Once more, Sinje into the basket. That's point number 13, Malaysia. And the pressure now is on Mongolia. And Erdinot from behind the arc going for the two-pointer. Picked up there by Sweat Ying. Malaysia is playing some great 3 x here. And a river shot into the basket by Sweat Ying. That woman can do no wrong this morning. Making all the right move for Malaysia. Narangu. At the side of the board, as we take a look at the action replay, what a skill there, a river shot by Sweat Ying to deliver point number 14, Malaysia. An advantage of five points over Mongolia with 2.54 remaining on the clock. Now some serious discussion happening among the four Mongolian ladies. Malaysia still very much aware of the danger posed by the Mongolian players who are really skillful with the advantage in height the lanky Kulan on all but and also Narangu can do the damage onto the Malaysians Wong Chai will sit this one out Sweat Ying Sinje and Sin Lu the three Malaysian players with a mission to win this game for Malaysia. Sinje, well defended by Kulan. Erdinot, Erdinot from behind the arc, going for the two-pointer off the rim. It's not yet quite happening for Erdinot with all the two-pointers attempt so far from her. 
Once more, I'll take a look at this shot from Sinje. Well defended there by Kula Nonol Bata. Five fouls from Mongolia and three from Malaysia. Sinlu has the ball. This is Cha Yi. Cha Yi goes for the shot. Nicely done by Wong Cha Yi. Point number 15 for Malaysia. And Kulan has the ball. Well defended. Blocked by Sweat Ying. Back to Malaysia with Cha Yi. Another shot. Too high over the basket. Ang Tul. And Kulan has the ball. Under the basket and going for the shot. Now she nailed it. Number 10 for Mongolia. Less than two minutes remaining on the clock here. Sweat Ying to Sin Lu. Sin Lu from behind the arm. Perfect two pointer there from Yong Sin Lu of Malaysia. It is 17 Malaysia. And once more, the action replay showing the precision shot there from Yong Sin Lu. Delivering yet another two-pointer for Malaysia. Now a healthy lead of seven points over Mongolia. And Mongolia has a this free throw. And Ang Tul to reduce the deficit here to 11-17. Making way for Erdinard once more. It's looking good for Malaysia. Six points at the advantage over Mongolia. Sinje going for more points. Oh, nicely done. Reversing herself and the shot went straight into the basket. It's 18-11. Great drive there from uh, Sweat Ying from Sinje to deliver the point for Malaysia. At 18-11, Mongolia really having a real challenge here. The first game of the day today, on a Friday after a rest day yesterday, where most of the teams spend their time with uh, more practice actually. In the court here, in Prangin Mall, Penang. Still, plenty of games are remaining today. For all you fans of the FIBA 3x3 basketball. Dan Sinje for Malaysia. Sweat Jing. Takes it to the zone. Going for the shot and almost finding the target there. Sweat Jing. Picked up here by Engtul. Goes to behind the arc. Just got to be careful there. A real pressure, nicely defended, and he gets the ball and will get the point here by Fu Sweat Jing. Malaysia is in the driving seat here. 19-11, less than 53 seconds. Let's take another look at that piece of work delivered by Sweat Jing. Delivering point number 19 for Malaysia. Mongolia, Ang Tul, goes for the two-pointer, still no luck from behind the arc. It is Malaysia having a good game this morning to start off the day. Mongolia staring at a defeat here. Eight points are trailing to Malaysia. Kulan will get this one to take Mongolia to 12. But with about 20 seconds remaining on the clock, it will be Malaysia and Sinje with icing on the cake there for Malaysia. What a shot there. 21 12, and Malaysia complete the game with about 15 seconds to spare. And the final score Malaysia 21, Mongolia 12. As we take a look once more at the winning points delivered by number 19, clenching her fists. And good work for Malaysia. Congratulations. Final score once more Malaysia 21, Mongolia 12.
Well, next up, it will be in the men uh, pool A. The men pool A game one will be between Mongolia and Malaysia again. And these are the players for Mongolia playing in blue today. Bazaya Serma. This is Sain Bayara Dugar Erden. Number 33. And Saikan Bayar Saikan. And number nine, Ulziroz Amyakmar Suren. The four players. Team Mongolia. Mongolia have been playing some great 3x3 basketball this week in Penang Island. Surely they will hope to continue that performance today, day four of the competition. And Team Malaysia, represented here by number three, Yap Run Sam. Number 12 is Leong Zhen Kang. Number 10, Lim Wan Xiong. And last but not least, number eight, Li Jia Jun. The four players for Team Malaysia in all black this morning. Well, let's hope for another great game of uh, basketball from uh, both teams, Mongolia and Malaysia. Mongolia certainly want to make amends of uh, that loss of their women's team to Malaysia earlier. Donna Francis Queen and Ryan and De La Torre once more. Still on the court here as the game referees for the men. Mongolia and Malaysia. And Saikan, Bayar Saikan, the number 33. One of the smallest players on the court, but certainly one of the fastest players. Very difficult to handle. And he is proving to be one of the key players, one of the live wires for Mongolia in uh, this competition. So we are all set here in Prangin Mall for the second game of the day between Mongolia and Malaysia in Men Pool A. So more throw practice for the two teams before we begin the game here. Right on the dot, 10.25 local time in the morning. That is when the game is due to begin between Malaysia and Mongolia. So stay with us. And the stage is set here. Mongolia in blue and Malaysia in uh, black to begin the game. Three against three, 10 minutes of playing time. You know, the first team to reach 21 wins at the game. Number 24 is Bazaya, number five, signed by R and number nine. And Saikan for Mongolia. Malaysia, Wan Xiong, number 10. Number three, Yap Run Sam. And number 12 is uh, Leong Zhan Kang for Malaysia. Run Sam from behind the arc. Going for the two-pointer. Off the rim instead and gone out of bound. Hey, 
And back to Mongolia possession with Bazaya Serma, the big man. Very skillful. And always pass Bazaya. This is signed by R. At the end of the shot clock, 12 seconds. Wan Xiang, number three, Run Sam from behind the arc, precision shot into the basket to give Malaysia the lead here. Two over nothing. Mongolia now going for the two pointer as well and nailed it via Bazaya. Zhen Kang, once more the effort for a two pointer but off the rim. And possession given back to Mongolia at 2 all early in this game. Jose Ross from behind the arc of the rim, still in play. Picked up here by Wang Xiang. Wang Xiang going for a two pointer, a little bit short. It's gone out of bound there of uh, Jia Jun. So, therefore, possession given back to Mongolia at 2-2 two, two currently and Saikan Bayar Saikan number 33 takes the ball and back to Bazaya has a clear space there delivering point number 3 for Mongolia Jia Jun to tie the score but nope off the rim but still Mongolia keeps possession currently Ozi Ross And a clash of the ball incidents there between the two of the players, Jia Jun and also Bazaya. It is a Mongolia's ball from behind the arc once more. Sain Bayar. Jose Ross with a shot. Didn't find a target. Back to Malaysia here. And Jia Jun finding point number three for Malaysia. And into the basket from Mongolia for a two-pointer. Jose Ross going for another two-pointer. Off the rim. Signed by R. Well defended by, by Jia Jun. As we take a look at Jose Ross with a two-pointer. Delicious shot there from us, Jose Ross. Zhen Kang. Another attempt off the board instead. And Saikan. This is Bazaya, number 24. Going for a two-pointer as well. Picked up by Sain Bayar. Mongolia keeping possession of the ball. And going for another shot, but Sain Bayar, or rather Bazaya, just lost possession there. Jia Jun for Malaysia, going for a two-pointer. Two shot. And it is a Mongolia with Ann Saikan. The layup there couldn't produce the point for the team. And what about Wan Xiong here from behind the arc of the target there for Wan Xiong? Still Mongolia in the lead, 5-3. Still in play. Zhen Kang going for a two-pointer there. The rebounded ball still being kept by Malaysia. Wan Xiong and Zhen Kang, but what a defend there from Sain Bayar. And Saikan. And Saikan going for a shot. And this time he nailed it to give Mongolia a 6 3 lead over Malaysia. Jia Jun with a drive for the layup, but couldn't produce a point for Malaysia. And Saikan. Back to Bazaya, Bazaya. A strong shot there by Bazaya. Now Mongolia still has possession. And that one goes into the net. For point number seven, Mongolia. As we take a look at this uh, action replay and Saikan. Nicely done uh, by the small player into the basket. And Mongolia has a po four points uh, leads over Malaysia at the moment, 7-3. With about 6.17 remaining on the clock. The big man signed by R. 
Bazaya and Saikan and Uzi Ross. Stark contrast the body size of the four players. Two and two. But certainly forming great combination for the four players. For Team Mongolia. And Bazaya Sermana with the free throw for the team into the basket. To extend the lead for Mongolia at 8-3. Runsam. Missed the target. Back to Mongolia. Malaysia needing to find the basket soon. Tries to move away from three. It is Mongolia on the offensive currently. And getting all the possession. Malaysia has got to up the game now. So the possession given back to Malaysia from behind the arc. Wan Xiong and Jia Jun. Jia Jun being shouldered by and Saigon. It is Run Sam. Mr. Target and picked up by Mongolia. Losing the ball too easily. It's not looking good for Malaysia and Uzi Ross going for another two-pointer. Nailed it to take Mongolia to 10. 5.27, Wan Xiong has the angle but not the basket. As we take a look at this action replay, Uzi Ross, another precision shot by him. To take Mongolia to 10, 10-3 10 currently. With 5.20 remaining on the clock, Malaysia has been stuck at 3 for quite a while. Has got to find the next point. A timeout there given by the referees. Well, it's difficult to pinpoint which player from the Mongolian team is doing most of the damage. And the four of them are combining very well to play a Team 3x3. And certainly... Putting a real challenger to Malaysia. Bazaya and then Saikan. And Saikan Bayar Saikan. Possession back to Mongolia through Uzi Ross. This is Uzi Ross looking for the two pointer off the rim. Picked up there by Jia Jun. Jia Jun. Back to Jia Jun there from Zheng Kang and Jia Jun make no mistake this time around. Much better from Lee Jia Jun. Two pointer delivered by Jia Jun. And Saikan, what a pass there towards Uzi Ross. Good work there, Zheng Kang picking it up. This is Run Sam from Malaysia. Uh, Jia Jun actually, number eight. As we take a look at the action replay here, the number eight, Jia Jun finally. On target with a two-pointer to take Malaysia to five. Zhen Kang. A tussle for the ball there between uh, Basaya and uh, Jia Jun. Foul has been given and it will be Mongolia's possession at the back here. And Saikan. And Saikan moving the ball swiftly. Lost it. Malaysia, Zen Kang from behind the arc and into the basket by Zen Kang. Much better here. Within three points of Mongolia. Basaya off the target. Picked up by Run Sam. Malaysia tries to keep the ball in play. Nope. As we take a look at the action replay here, Zen Kang finally finding the target with that two pointer. And Malaysia 7, Mongolia 10, still time. Still plenty of time actually. Uzi Ross for Mongolia. It's tussle for the ball on the floor. Here's the shot. But off the rim, Wan Xiong has the opportunity here. Run Sam from a distance. Two shot from Run Sam. And Mongolia upping the tempo here. 
Jose Ross and Saikan. Takes it to the basket despite the challenge by Jia Jun and into the basket by and Saikan. Point 11 for Mongolia. Wan Xiang lost the ball. Back to Ensaikan. Ensaikan goes for the shot. With the defend from Li Jiajun. Dima foul as we take a look at this uh, action replay once more. Nice work, a nice layup there from Ensaikan to give Mongolia the 11th point. 11 7 with 3 29 remaining on the clock here. Malaysia with six fouls and one from Mongolia. Another foul from Malaysia. And it will be two free throws from then onward. Okay, we're back on the court here. Still within the reach of the Malaysian players. Only four points are behind Mongolia. But it is uh, Nsaikan with a free throw here for Mongolia. Into the basket to take Mongolia to 12. Jajun goes for the two-pointer. Much better. This is more like it. Lee Jajun. And a push by Nsaikan towards uh, Jajun there. As we take a look at the action replay, despite the challenge attempt from Saikan Jiajun making no mistake there to deliver the two-pointer. Possession back to Mongolia, Jiajun. Blocked by Sain Bayar, Sain Bayar to Saikan. Saikan going for a two-pointer, nope, a pass towards Sain Bayar. That's into the basket by Sain Bayar. Point number 13 to Mongolia. Malaysia at nine. Still with a chance here. Uh, two shot from Yaprun Sam. Less than three minutes remaining on the clock here. Four points are behind Mongolia. And uh, it is Mongolia who has the possession now. Oziros. Mekmasuren. Basaya, the recipient. Going for the shot. Lobbing it up. Picked up here by Malaysia. Run Sam. Run Sam to Zhen Kang. Now Wan Xiang goes for a shot there. Two shot from Wan Xiang. And Saikan keeps the ball. Goes to the basket by back pass towards uh, Basaya who goes for the two-pointer. Still possession being kept by Mongolia. At the sound of the whistle from the referee. Another foul that has been uh, sported there. And it will be possession for Team Malaysia. Jia Jun, Wan Xiang, and also Zhen Kang. It is Wan Xiang going for the shot there. Into the basket. 10 13. Malaysia trails by three points. Uzi Ross keeps his possession of the ball. Going for the two pointer. Off the rim. Malaysia has got to take the possession of the ball. But currently, it is Mongolia. From most of the rebounded ball. As we take a look at the action replay here once more, is Wan Xiang able to slot it home despite the challenge on him. And now the free throw for Mongolia with Sayin Bayar Dugarerden off the rim. The first of the two free throws as Malaysia has collected seven fouls. Signed by with a second free throw here to take Mongolia to 14, and that he did. It is 14 10 now in favor of Mongolia. Less than a two minutes remaining on the clock. There you go once more. Mongolia has possession with Basaya going for the two pointer. Still keeping possession. Signed by and Saikan. And Saikan goes for the two pointer. Rebounded ball picked up by Mongolia. Back to Nsaikan here. And Bazaya Serma into the basket. Taking Mongolia to 15. You can say that it's looking much better for Mongolia. Kanali Jiajun into the basket. Malaysia at 11. 
Mongolia going for more points here. And Saikan. Off the ball incident, I think. A clash between Sain Bayar and also Jia Jun. As we take a look at the action replay here, Jia Jun. A very nice layup there with his left hand into the basket for Malaysia's 11 point. So a foul here from Malaysia. Two more free throws for Mongolia. Oziros takes Mongolia to 16 with that shot. And just a one free throw given to Mongolia at 16 11 currently. 1 10 remaining on the clock. A five points advantage. Will that be enough for Mongolia? Remember, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Malaysia need to, to go for a two pointer now. To stand any hope of still winning this game. But it is looking good for Mongolia there. Much better with Uziros with another shot to take Mongolia to 17. Runs with the ball and twisting himself and a shot straight into the basket by Uziros. Possession to Mongolia with Nsaikan. Nsaikan, he can run with the ball. Jose Ross once more into the basket. 19 now for Mongolia. Remember, 21 will win the game. It is Mongolia currently with 40 seconds remaining on the clock. And Sakan going for the two-pointer. Didn't get it. Still in play, but he gets possession back for Mongolia. Jose Ross. To end the match, yes, a two-pointer to take Mongolia to 21 with about 28 seconds remaining on the clock. The win here for Mongolia over Malaysia, 21-11. So congratulations uh, to Mongolia as we take a look at uh, this uh, final shot from Uziraz Amyakmar Surin into the basket. To give Mongolia the win. Once more, the final score here Mongolia 21 and Malaysia 11. So, up next, we'll have more great FIBA 3 actually. It will be between China and Vietnam in Woman Pool B. So, the Chinese ladies will be making their first appearance today. So, be sure to join us back. China versus Vietnam. Up next, stay with us.
And welcome back to Prangin Mall this morning. We are all set for the third game of the day in a woman pool B, game number one between China and Vietnam. So welcoming Team China onto the center court here. Represented by number 19, Luo Jin Yu, 18, Kun Huang. Number 8 is Guo Xiaoni and number 11, Chen Ming Ling. The four players for Team China. While for Team Vietnam. Welcoming to the center court here. Number eight is uh, Nguyen, Huyen Mai Ti. Number 13 is Hang Tu Bui. Number four is uh, Tu Min Ti Pan. And last but not least, number nine is uh, Tao Ti Huang. The four players for Vietnam. Tao Ti Huang making her first appearance uh, this week for Team Vietnam, the number nine players. Tan Kian Hua and Ryan and De La Torre, the two referees for this game between China and Vietnam. You are watching the live streaming here of the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022 Stop 3 Asia here in Penang Island, Malaysia. Okay, we are all set. The three against three. Lo Jin Yu, Kun Huang. And also Chen Mingling for China. And the first point delivered by, there by Chen Mingling. Just under the basket. Number nine for Vietnam is uh, Tao Ti Huang. Second point once more from Mingling. 13 for Vietnam is Hang Tubui. And number 8 there is uh, Huyen Mai Ti. The end of the 12 second shot clock violation there. 2 for China. As we take a look at the point delivered easily there under the basket by Chen Ming Ling. Possession for China. Luo Jin Yu, the tall Jin Yu. Come on in now and mingling of the rim. Possession back to Vietnam. Number 13 is Hang Tubui. Number 4 is uh, Ti Pan. And the other place is Huyen Mai Ti. Number 8 for Team Vietnam. Possession for China. Mingling. Kun Huang. Number 8 is Guo Xiaoni. Goes for the two-pointer, but off the rim. Still possession and mingling like she did. The first two points. And the third point was delivered in the same manner as well. From under the basket. And it is point number three for China. Vietnam finally getting themselves off the mark. With the first point delivered by Hang Tu Bui. As we take a look at uh, this action replay, precision pass and Tubui making no mistake with a shot into the basket there for Vietnam. Foul call there from uh, the referee and possession given back to Vietnam. Number four, Thi Pan. Vietnam goes for the shot, didn't get it, Xin Yu. A pass uh, towards Ming Ling. And a foul there from uh, Team Vietnam has given possession back to China. It is number 18, Kun Huang. Xin Yu back to Kun Huang. Luo Xin Yu. Ming Ling here with a chance to slot it home. A little bit too hard. They're still tussling for the ball, Kun Huang. And also Hang Tubui. Still China's possession. 
Picked up here by Jin Yu and into the basket by Luo Jin Yu, the first two pointer there. China five and Vietnam one. Tipan. And the shot by the number nine, uh, Tao Ti Huang, off the target. The ball went in, but after the referee's uh, whistle, as we take a look at uh, this two pointer delivered by Luo Jin Yu, precision shot there, straight into the net by Jin Yu of China. Xiaoni at number eight. Zhaoni gets the ball. And a pass there towards Kun Huang, who goes for the two pointer. Delivered it. Nicely done there by Kun Huang. Seven now, China leads. See the action replay here. Straight into the net by Kun Huang for China. Tipan. Tipan goes for the two pointer as well. Off the rim. Picked up here by Zhen Yu. And a pass towards Zhaoni. Mingling gets the ball and Mingling into the basket. Extending the lead here for China at 8 1. Tipan. Two shot the pass. Was held up by Luo Jin Yu, but ball gone out of bound. As we take a look once more, Mingling using the height advantage and able to slot it nicely into the basket for China. Tipan here for Vietnam. Ji Huang and a shot from behind the arc by Huyen Mai T was off the target. China is in the lead here, 8 1. And from the get go, has been in control of the game. Showing their prowess over Vietnam here. Jin Yu, what a pass there towards Ming Ling. Ming Ling straight into the basket once more. Nicely done. 9 1. Vietnam seems to be struggling here, looking for the point number two, but still unable to get it. Possession still being kept by the mighty Chinese, and Kun Huang takes it to the basket and into the net. They are in two-digit category here, 10-1. An overwhelming lead here over Vietnam. Once more, the action replay. Kun Huang dribbling it with the, her left hand. And the shot with the right into the basket for China. Serious discussion, much needed there eh, by Team Vietnam. Lo Jin Yu, Ko Xiaoni, Kun Huang, and also Chen Ming Ling for Team China. Playing some great 3x3 basketball this morning for China. Here we go once more, number eight. Hu Yen Mighty finding the net at long last. That's a good point delivered by Hu Yen Mighty. A quick response there from Chen Mingling to take China to 11 2. Hu Yen Mighty once more denied by Luo Jin Yu. Using a height advantage to do the blocking there. At the end of the shot clock there, Tipan with a two-pointer effort, but a little bit too late, I think. Lo Jin Yu now possession for China from behind the arc. Kun Huang and a pass back towards uh, Lo Jin Yu and into the basket for point 12 to China. It's looking good for them now. And the pass from Luo Jin Yu towards Kun Huang. The ball has gone out of bound. So possession back to Team uh, Vietnam. Oh, of uh, Vietnamese players. So therefore it is uh, China with the possession. Go Xiaoni. Kun Huang goes for the two-pointer. Picked up here by Huyen Mai Ti. Huyen Mai Ti. Min Ling. And a pass towards Go Xiaoni. 
Was there a push there by Huyen Mighty on uh, Go Shaoni? Yes, the foul was given, so therefore possession given back to Team China. Who has the lead here, 12-2. With a good 5.47 remaining on the clock. Still plenty of time. And China looks to be a team in a hurry to win this one. Into the net by Mingling to take them to 13-2. Hang Tubui goes for the shot, blocked by Shen Yu easily. And a pass toward Mingling who slotted home without much trouble there. China at 14. Tipan to Huyen Mighty. Huyen Mighty goes for the two pointer. Too hot there from Huyen Mighty. As we take a look at this shot, the block by Luo Jin Yu, nicely done there to deny Huyen Mighty. So possession back to China. Jin Yu goes Xiaoni. Xiaoni goes for the two pointer of the rim instead. Vietnam. And again, well blocked there. Tao Ti Huang unable to slot it home. But it is Ming Ling had no trouble to back China's 15. Ang Tu Bui tries to pick up the ball. But was denied as we take a look at this shot. The blocking was easily done by Chen Ming Ling to deny Vietnam. Many a times, Vietnam has been hampered by the strong presence of the Chinese players to block all their effort. Now Tifan pick it up for Vietnam. And a good pass there. Much better from Hang Tubui for Vietnam. That's point number three for Vietnam. Still thrills by 15-3. Point number 16 for China. Tubui being challenged by Go Xiaoni. No more time left for Hang Tubui. As we take a look at this action replay, a good pass from the T Pan towards Hang Tubui, who finally found the target. Point number three for Vietnam, but still look at the scoreboard. China in the lead here of 13 points over Vietnam. With about 4.04 remaining on the clock. Remember, the first team to reach 21 wins the game. Another timeout here. A real challenge for Huyen Mighty, Hang Tubui, Min Ti Pan, and also Tao Ti Huang of Team Vietnam. Certainly, Team China. Playing at a different level here. Easily racking up points after point. One more. The point from uh, China through Kun Huang at 17-3. Hang Tu Bui goes for the shot. That will be given, yes, for Hang Tu Bui. The fourth point for Vietnam and she will have uh, this free throw to try to add to the tally. But a short timeout has been given once more by the referee. In Pool B, it is a China, Vietnam, and also Japan. So the battle surely will be between Japan and China in Pool B. Who will it be to enter the final? Will it be Japan again? Or can China do one better over Japan? So the throw here for Vietnam, Hang Tu Bui against the net. Into the basket, that's point number five for Vietnam. 17-5, the lead by China over Vietnam. Zhao Ni. Well picked up there by Huyen Mighty. Goes for the shot off the board. Back to China here, Ming Ling and Xin Yu. Xiaoni, too hot there for Guo Xiaoni. So the ball has gone out of bounds. So possession given back to Team Vietnam. 
Number 40, Pan. Yes, Huyen Mighty. Huyen Mighty. A long shot there, but off the target, unfortunately, for Huyen Mighty. So back to behind the arc, it will be China's ball. Kun Huang. And a pass to it. Ming Ling. Ming Ling into the basket. Easily done. 18 for China. Three more points uh, to wrap up at this game. Tao Ti Huang with her effort but not finding the target. Again, no challenge at all there for Chen Ming Ling from under the basket to take China to 19. So two more points to wrap up at this game between the two nations. Tao Ti Huang to hide the lob over the basket. Now the chance to end the game. Nope. Off the rim for China. And the ball has gone out of bound. Possession back to Team Vietnam. Tipan making the move here for Vietnam. Hang to Bui. Faced up. Lo Jin Yu to Bui almost finding the target. Now it is Guo Xiaoni with the basket. Nope. China will have another chance here with uh, Lo Jin Yu off the rim. And the ball gone out of bound. 2 11 remaining on the clock, and China still need two points to wrap up these games against uh, Vietnam. A very, very big lead over Vietnam here. China is on course to win this game. But to do that, they will need another two more points or let the clock run its course. Dao Ti Huang with a two-pointer attempt. Picked up here by China. Kun Huang. Kun Huang to Jin Yu. Jin Yu with a two-pointer attempt off the target by Jin, Jin Yu. Still no luck to find the points that, that will wrap up with this game. Could it be that they will be playing the remainder 143, 143 on the clock here? Vietnam will be looking for their next point. That's a miss pass there from uh, Tao Ti Huang towards uh, Huyen Mai Ti. So back to China with Chen Ming Ling. Keeping possession, Kun Huang, Go Xiaoni. And a foul spotted by the referee. It will be given to Vietnam, the possession of the ball. Min Tipan. Left it for Huyen Mighty. Huyen Mighty from behind the arc going for the two-pointer. But off the board instead, Jin Yu left it for Xiaoni. Xiaoni once more, still not able to find the target. Hang to Bui. Tu Bui here dribbling with a left hand. Twisting and turning and looks for the shot, gets it. Another point for Vietnam. And finally, at long last, it is a Guo Xiaoni, the number eight. Delivering the winning points for China with about 59.8 seconds remaining on the clock here. It is China with a win here over Vietnam. Final score here, China 21 and Vietnam 6. It's all happening here. So uh, up next will be in men pool B. It is between Japan and uh, Vietnam. So don't go anywhere. We are all set for the men's game between Japan and Vietnam. Stay with us.
And welcome back to Perangin Mall in Georgetown City in Penang Island, Malaysia. This is game four for today and it will be in a men pool B between Japan and Vietnam. Japan has been going great guns in this uh, tournament and here they are once more. Number 34 is uh, Kejiro Mitani, number one King Kai. Number four is uh, Takumi Masuko. And last but not least, number zero is Ryo Sadohara. This is Team Japan in all white today. Sadohara, Masuko, Kinkai, and also Mitani. And Team Vietnam certainly will hope to do much better than the ladies uh, earlier who lost to Team China. And Vietnam's men's are represented by Kim Jisoo, number 32, 35, making his first appearance uh, this week for Vietnam is Ko Dang Kak Le. Number six is Vin Puk Nguyen, and number 11, last but not least, is Ban Vo Kim. This is the player, Dang Kak Le, uh, the new player, is the new player, number 35. Jisoo, Puk Nguyen and also Ban Bo Kim. Nicole Lim sok and Donald Francis Queen are the two game referees for this game between Vietnam and Japan.
Here they are. And very vibrant mood uh, this morning, Japan. They've been winning twice so far this week in each of the finals, save for day one, which was won by Team China. Masuko Sadohara at King Kai for Team Japan. Kim Jisu, Puk Nguyen, and also Ban Vo Kim for Vietnam. This is Puk Nguyen for Vietnam. Being challenged by Sadohara. And a pass towards Ban Vo Kim. Vo Kim will have the space into the basket for first point to Vietnam. King Kai with a pass too high for Sadohara. And it's back to Japan with the possession. King Kai, the number one player. And a lap to Sadohara, nicely done. First point there for Japan. Kakle, Vokim. Vokim against Sadohara, takes it to the basket. No more time remaining on the shot clock, so it's back to Japan, Sadohara. And the pass towards King Kai, twisting and turning, and into the basket by King Kai. Oh, a nice two pointer there by Puk Nguyen. A quick response from Wing Puk Nguyen to take Vietnam in the lead here 3 2. Kak Clay looking for the two pointer. Albite too short there, so back to. Team Japan, King Kai. Has gone out for possession, given back to Team Japan, as you can see from the action replay. What a pass there for Sadohara to slot it home easily. And that's before the two pointer from uh, Vic Puk Nguyen. Masuko for Japan. Good work there. Mitani tries to continue that one, but was denied by Kim Ji Su of uh, Vietnam so possession back to team Japan from behind the arc still trailing by just a single point here Saduhara picked up here by Puk Nguyen Nguyen goes for the two pointer Masuko I think there was a challenge there on uh, Takumi Masuko. Another foul given. So back to Japan with the possession. Mitani Masuko goes for the two pointer off the rim. And Vietnam now through Van Bo Kim. Bo Kim twisting and turning. Well denied by Mitani. Saduhara. Saduhara still with the ball. Dribbling it and. Tries to slot it home. Jisoo picks it up now for Team Vietnam. Vo Kim has Puk Nguyen to support. It is Vo Kim all the way. And a pass towards um, Puk Nguyen. A slight hesitation there momentarily, but there was a foul there. As we take a look at this action replayed, the blocking there from uh, Mitani was sublime. And Vietnam now will have this free throw. Wing Puk Nguyen, the opportunity to extend the lead for Vietnam to 4-2. Masuko. And a pass towards um, King Kai. Back to Japan with Takumi Masuko. Takes it to the basket. Too high over the basket. Now is the opportunity for Team uh, Vietnam. Wing Puk Nguyen. Puk Nguyen goes for the shot into the basket by Puk Nguyen. King Kai with a two-pointer there from King Kai. It is Japan with four now and Vietnam five. Kak Le. Um, nope, that was not counted. As we take a look at this action replay, King Kai in his element. A precision shot into the basket there from King Kai. Keijiro Mitani, Sadohara picks it up, takes it to the basket by Sadohara. 
At the sound of the whistle, and it's into the basket for point number five, Team Japan. As we take a look once more, the action replay, Sadohara. Good work there from the number zero. Slaughtered it home despite the challenge. And now, we'll have this free throw for him, for Team Japan. Into the basket, and Japan back in the lead here, 6-5. Hook Nguyen with a two-pointer attempt. Banbo Kim, ball gone out of bound. You are watching the live streaming here. The game between Japan and Vietnam from Prangin Mall, Penang. Man, man, pool B, game number one. And at the moment, Japan in the lead with 6 5, with 6.52 remaining on the clock here. Crowds are beginning to make their way into the Prangin Mall here where all the actions will continue on until this afternoon and also until Sunday Mitani with a shot back to Vietnam Vokim Kakle Dan Kakle with a two-pointer attempt off the board Picked up by Jisoo and Kakle once more into the basket. To tie the score for Vietnam at 6-all. King Kai. Oh, what a layup there from King Kai. Taking the ball all the way to the basket. Nicely done for point number seven, Team Japan. Let's take a look once more the action replay. King Kai. A sublime skill there to give the point for, Viet uh, for Japan. Takumi Masako off the rim. Picked up here by Banbo Kim. Banbo Kim. Put Nguyen. Nguyen. Being blocked by King Kai, but still was able to slot it back home. Saduhara now for Japan. From behind the arc and into the basket. That's point number nine for Japan. Puk Nguyen. Oh, what a solo effort there from Wing Puk Nguyen. Looking good here. Not bad at all, Team Vietnam. India element taking the game all the way to Japan. Although Japan has the lead back, but not for long. As Mr. Ban Bo Kim, number 11 there, slotted it for another two-pointer. And they are tied at 10 all as we take a look at this action replay. Ban Bo Kim, precision shot straight into the basket there to tie the score for Vietnam. 10 all. It's all happening here, I tell you. Oh, still too close to call. Japan on paper is a favorite. But this morning, Vietnam has been a much changed team. Now they have a new player, Dang Kak Lê. Probably that's also a reason why Vietnam looks like a much changed team here. King Kai, off the rim from King Kai, keeping the ball in play. Mitani to Masuko. Masuko, being challenged by two players. It is Kin Kinjiro Mitani, off the rim. Vietnam has the opportunity here. Ban Bo Kim, good challenge by Mitani. King Kai, oh, what a pass there for Mitani. Under pass from King Kai to Kejiro Mitani. And that was point number 11 for Team Japan. As we take a look at the action replay here once more. That was a good pass and Mitani making no mistake there to put the ball into the basket. 11-10, Japan in the lead and 4-34 remaining on the clock here. Sadohara for Japan. King Kai being challenged by Puk Nguyen. It is Kejiro Mitani. A nice layup there from the left side into the basket by Mitani. A two points lead. Puk Nguyen goes for the two pointer at the end of the shot clock. Back to Japan. Mitani, Sadohara. Oh, what a pass. Miss uh, Mitani 
But it is Vietnam now, the challenge on Vinh Phuc Nguyen. And there was a foul there, as you can see from the action replay, it is Kejiro Mitani to the basket. Point number 12 for Japan. Less than four minutes remaining on the clock here, and Japan in the lead with just the two points. Two fouls from Japan and three from Vietnam so far. Do not forget our hashtag as well, hashtag 3x3NL. 3x3, FIBA 3x3, Nation League 2022, stop three, Asia in Penang. The free throw for Vietnam. Off the target, back to Japan, Sadohara. Keeping possession, needing to make the shot. No more time there for Kejiro Mitani. At the end of the 12 second the shot clock. Took a little bit of a knock there, Rio Sadohara. Well, let's hope he's, he's okay to continue with the game here. Such a key player for Team Japan, Saduhara. He will need to sit out this one and uh, the other three players will continue the mission for Team Japan. King Kai, Mitani and also Masuko. So back to the action here. Kakle. Van Volkim. Volkim being challenged here by King Kai. And a two-pointer effort from Van Volkim. Picked up by Masuko. King Kai. King Kai goes to Mitani on the right. Mitani with a two-pointer attempt off the rim. He picked it up again and slotted home the rebounded ball. Point 13 for Japan. With 3.15 remaining on the clock, Saduhara still receiving treatment on the chair there. And uh, Vietnam gets another two point uh, from Ban Vo Kim to take them very close to Japan. Another two pointer this time coming from uh, Takumi Masuko to take Japan to 15 and 12 for Vietnam. All the two pointers are coming on now with Takumi Masuko, as you can see from the action replay there. Still too close to call. Three points separating the two teams here. Another timeout call. Much needed by Team Japan as they are checking on uh, Rio Sadohara. Sadohara will continue to receive the treatment. Court side and Kinkai, Masuko and Mitani will continue the battle for Japan. 2.57 remaining on the clock. Vietnam still not over yet for them. Vo Kim going for the two-pointer. To take them closer to Japan. But missed the target, so it's back to Japan with the possession. Sadohara is back on the court. Here comes Saduhara, King Kai with a shot, off the rim. Put Nguyen, Nguyen goes to the basket, goes with a shot and gets it. Point number 13 for Vietnam. Saduhara will need to deliver the next point for Japan now. Possession still being kept by Japan. King Kai takes it to the basket and lobbing it in. 16-13. Japan leads. Volkim. A good pass there towards uh, Puk Nguyen. Puk Nguyen made no mistake there. Into the net. Point 14 for Vietnam. And yet another two more points for Japan. To take them closer to the win. 18-14. Remember, 21 will win the game. It is Rio Saduhara, as you can see from the action replay there. 
from behind the arc. It is Japan in the lead, 18-14. Getting closer now for Japan. But Vietnam giving them a good fight. It is Takumi Masako with another two-pointer. So one point needed by Japan to win the game. Kak Lei, another point for Vietnam, taking them to 15. And Masuko, a two-pointer, didn't find a target. Japan needing just one more point. And here they come. King Kai, Masuko, a long shot that towards uh, Sadohara. Back to Japan. Sadohara goes for the two-pointer of the rim once more and it is King Kai nope three times the shot from behind the arc from Japan couldn't produce the point that they are needing to win to wrap up the game here 2015 another point needed and with about a minute remaining on the clock here Takumi Masuko goes for the two-pointer and into the basket. 22-15. At long last, it is Takumi Masuko with the win, producing the winner for Japan. So the final score here, Japan 22, Vietnam 15. And time for us to take a, another look at that winning point delivered by Masuko. Precision shot into the basket. Congratulations, uh, Team Japan. And a short break here before we're back at 11.50 local time for the Pool A game between Thailand and Malaysia. So Thailand up against Malaysia in Women Pool A. Stay with us.
And welcome back to FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022 in Penang Island, Malaysia. Asia's top four and up next will be the next game between Thailand and Malaysia in Women Pool A. Pool A game two between the home team Malaysia and Thailand. And here we go, welcoming team Thailand first to the center court. Represented by Yada Sriha Raksa, number 16. Number 10 is Raifa Petnin. 24 is uh, Pantila Pimvong. And 66 is Pichayapa Puek Raksa. The four players, Yada Sriha Pantila and uh, Pichayapa for Team Thailand. And they will be up against uh, the neighboring country, the home nation. Team Malaysia represented by Tan Sinje, Wong Cha Yi, Hu Suet Ying, and also last, last but not least, Lu. Yong Sin Lu. So the four players for Team Malaysia won their first game earlier today against uh, Mongolia. So a win here over Thailand would we'll see Malaysia making it into the final later this afternoon. So that is the opportunity for Team Malaysia. Donald Francis Green and Ryan and De La Torre as the two referees for this game, Malaysia and Thailand. Plenty, plenty to play for for Team Malaysia. A win here will take them to the, the final. Thailand. First appearance for them today. They will still need to play Mongolia later today. But for Malaysia, who started with a resounding win over Mongolia, which means a win here over Thailand, and Malaysia will be in the final. So we are all set in white today, Thailand. While Malaysia, as usual, in all black. And it is uh, Tan Sin Jie, Wong Cha Yi, and also Fu Suet Ying to start the game for Malaysia. While for Thailand, it's Roy Fa, Yada, and Picha Yapa. And the possession back to Thailand with uh, Picha Yapa. Picha Yapa with Roy Fa. Sroifa, the danger lady for Team Thailand. That's gone into the basket for Thailand. First point to them and they will have this free throw of the first foul from Malaysia. So it will be Sroifa Petnin with the opportunity to add to the tally here. Early in this game, Sroifa Petnin for Thailand into the basket. 2-0, Thailand leads. Yong Sin Lu from behind the arc and into the basket. Nicely done by Sin Lu. Well defended there by Suet Ying. Cha Yi back to Suet Ying. Suet Ying now takes it to the basket off the board, unfortunately. Well, Thailand moving on. Well picked up here by Cha Yi. Wong Cha Yi dribbling the ball inside the zone. A pass towards Sin Lu. Sin Lu lost possession. And it is Thailand now with Yada, number 16. Yada. Dribbling the ball and slaughtered it home. Give Thailand the lead 3 2. But Malaysia with a two pointer soon after. And a Pichayapa slaughtered it home as well. Points in succession as we take a look at this two-pointer from Suet Ying. Straight into the basket by the Malaysian lady. Tan Sin Jia here for Malaysia. Number 19, the challenge. And Thailand has possession once more. Pantila Pimpong here, number four, 24. Sroifa. Yada. Making no mistake, slotting it home. Point number five for Thailand. 
It's going to be a tough battle here between the two teams. Sinjay going for the two-pointer. And at the end of the shot clock, Sweating couldn't put it inside. Pantila. Pantila tries to take it to the basket. But there was a foul there from Malaysia as we take a look at this effort once more from Yada. No challenge there. Easy task for Yada. And now Pantila will have this free throw to add to Thailand's tally. Pantila Pimpong and off the rim into the basket for Pantila. Sweat Jing goes for the two pointer. Back to Thailand now. Picha Yapa. Picha Yapa. Wow, what a shot there from Picha Yapa. Extending Thailand's lead 8 4 now. Let's just got to find the next point, and that they did. Good work there from uh, Sweat Ying. Pichayapa once more. Lost the ball now. It is Sinji. Sinji looking for the two pointer off the target. Once more, the action replay here. Sweat Ying able to take the ball all the way to the basket. Point number five for Malaysia. And back with the action here. Pantila. Pantila, ping pong. And a shot into the basket to take Thailand to nine. Wong Chai for Malaysia. Chai. Back pass towards Sinje. Almost, but off the rim and gone out of bound. As we take a look once more at the action involving Pichay Yapa receiving the precision pass there from Pantila Pimvong. Thailand looking good here. Yada once more into the basket to take Thailand to 10. In the lead here, 10 5. Malaysia with a move here, the end of the 12 seconds. Pichayapa, Sroifa Patnin here, number 10 for Thailand. Oh, what a pass towards Yada. Oh, Yada just missing the opportunity to take it home. Malaysia with Stan Sinjir. And there was a foul. And also a timeout called by the referee. A Thailand with the lead here, 10-5. With about 6.26 remaining on the clock. Malaysia with a win over Mongolia. And now their second game of the day against Thailand. A win here will prolong Malaysia's involvement today which means they can make it all the way to the final this afternoon but they will need nothing less than a win over Thailand back with the action here Sweat Jing goes for a two-pointer off the target they will need to find a basket soon. 6.18 on the clock. And with Thailand having possession. Their fast, skillful player of Thailand, especially number 66, Pichayapa, is their danger person. Likewise, number 16 as well, Yada. Always skillful, especially under the basket. Now Yada Sriharaksa will have the opportunity with the free throw here for Thailand. Off the rim there from Yada. Now back to Malaysia with Sinje too high over the basket. Thailand. And a pass to Sroifa goes for the two-pointer. Picked up here by Sweat Ying. Swedging Sinje from behind the arc. Yes, into the basket. By Tan Sinje. That takes Malaysia to seven. Much better, but they need to get the next point as we take a look at this action replay. 
Well defended there by Wong Cha Yi. Malaysia 7 and Thailand 10. It is possession for Thailand. Picha Yapa goes for the shot of the rim into the basket. Yes, it will be counted. Thailand has 11 at the moment, over 7 for Malaysia. Four points advantage over Malaysia. Now possession is back to Thailand. Strife, I was checking on uh, some details with the referee. Strife Patnin under the basket and a pass towards Pantila who goes for the two pointer shot. Didn't get it. Strife. Strife. This is uh, Picha Yapa. Picha Yapa tries to get the basket. And a whistle has gone from the referee. Despite the attempt by Wong Cha Yi. Malaysia with three fouls and Thailand with just one so far. And we have about five minutes remaining on the clock here. Picha Yapa. Yada. Lost the ball. A tussle for the ball on the floor there. Still Malaysia has possession. And Sweat Ying takes it to the basket. It's into the basket from Sweat Ying. That is eight point for Malaysia. As we take a look one more at this piece of action from Sweat Ying did well to dislodge her marker there. To slot it home, there was a foul. And a free throw here for Malaysia with Sweat Ying with a chance to take it to nine. Yes. Malaysia 9 now, but still two points are behind Thailand. Tan Sinje. Sinje with a pass towards Sweat Ying. Picked up there by Sin Lu. Sin Lu with a shot, lost the ball. It is Thailand now. Yada. Back to Yada from Sroifa. Yada off the rim. The third foul from Thailand. Malaysia now will have possession again. Just two points are behind Thailand. Still with a chance here to take the game away from Thailand. Sin Lu. And Malaysia into the net. Sweating good work from her. Mon Chai now will try to deny Pantila. Pantila goes for the shot into the basket from Pantila. It's Thailand 12 and Malaysia 10. Sin Lu goes for the two pointer. Two shot there from uh, Sweat Ying. Yada, or rather Picha Yapa, has the ball. Goes for the shot as well. Picked up by Yada. Not finding the target. And the third time asking as well. A bit unfortunate there, Yada. As we take a look once more at that shot from Pantila Pimbong. Into the basket by Pantila. Thailand holding on to the two points a lead here over Malaysia. Just the two points with about 3.42 remaining on the clock. Plenty to play for for the two teams here, Malaysia and Thailand. Malaysia, Sinje, Chayi, Sweat Ying and also Sin Lu. Carrying the flag for Malaysia. Right, Thailand is a team. The regular rivals for Malaysia in the Southeast Asia level. In tournaments such as these SEA Games. And also Asian Championship. The two teams are very familiar with each other. In the full five, five players uh, format and also this uh, 3x3 format. A uh, discussion going on with the referee here. Ryan and uh, De La Torre just to confirm some details. And we are ready to begin to resume with the game here. Possession is for Thailand. 
Or will it be a free throw for Malaysia? Now Donna Francis Green checking with the detail uh, for the details with the official. Thirteen ten Malaysia uh, Thailand leads with about three forty two remaining on the clock. I guess that uh, both teams are um, recollecting the final piece of action before the timeout. And just to confirm which team will have possession or will it be a free throw given? Well, we'll find that out soon. So just hang on with us. All the actions happening here in Prangin Mall in uh, Penang, Malaysia. The game between Thailand and Malaysia in Woman Pool A is game number two. Okay, back onto the court here. To resume with the battle, it will be possession for Thailand. Pantila Pimbong, Pichayapa, dribbling, has Sroifa to support her. Sroifa takes it to the basket and over the basket. Unfortunately for her. Foul there by Malaysia, so possession back to Thailand. Pichayapa. Yada picks it up. Sroifa back to Yada. Well challenged there by Sweat Ying. Malaysia need the point soon. Still at 10. And still we are back behind the arc once more with possession for Thailand. Yada, the challenge from Sweat Ying. That's the end of the 12 second shot clock. And now possession is for Team Malaysia. Sin Lu. Sin Lu takes it to the basket and slaughtered it home. Much better there for, uh, from Malaysia, from Yong Sin Lu. 11 13. As we take a look at this action replay, the effort from a Sin Lu. For point 11 to Malaysia. Sweat Ying goes for the basket of the rim. Missing the target. Now he's back to Thailand. Sroifa Petnin. A good pass here. Picked up by Picha Yapa. Being challenged by Sin Lu. And this is Yada with a shot. At the end of the 12 seconds for point number 14, Thailand. Sweat Ying. Sinje. At the end of the 12 seconds as well, Sinje took a little bit longer there. As we take a look once more at Yada with a shot here. Precision shot into the basket to extend the lead for Thailand at 14-11. Once more from Yada. Thailand racking up the point here, 15-11. Danger zone for Malaysia. Sweating needing this point, but nope. Denied by the rim. And Thailand is looking even better now with another point delivered by Yada. Sinje. Wong Chai. Chai keeps possession and too high from Chai. No more time for Sweat Ying. It's all happening for Thailand. An advantage of five points over Malaysia. Or rather, four points. Sixteen twelve in favor of Thailand, with about one forty-five remaining on the clock. So four points are the difference. Malaysia will need to get the points soon. Yet another timeout given by the referees. 
Will four points be enough? Malaysia still in with a chance here. Remember, a win for Malaysia over Thailand. We'll see Malaysia through to the final. But Thailand can stop that from happening by beating Malaysia here. And then, in the next match, when Thailand meets Mongolia, that will be the decider. Whether Thailand or Mongolia or Malaysia who will go to the final today from Pool A. In the other pool, it is Japan, China and Vietnam. Okay, back on the court here with a possession for Malaysia. Tan Xinjie with Suet Ying. Suet Ying takes it to the basket and slaughtered it home. Much better from Suet Ying. That's 13 Malaysia. Sroifa for Thailand. Pichayapa. Pichayapa looks for the space. Has Yada to support and Yada making no mistake there from under the basket. Extending the lead for Thailand at 17 13. Back to Malaysia. Another point collected by Sweat Ying. Will it be enough? 14 17. There's about a minute, seven seconds remaining on the clock. Thailand holding on to the three point leads here. As we take a look at this action replay, Sweat Ying finding the target for Malaysia. Yada. Good dribbling the Yada and with the right hand slaughtered it home. 18 Thailand. And they have possession now from behind the arc. Pichayapa, Sroifa adding another point. 19. 21 will win the game. As it is, they are in a very, very healthy lead over Malaysia. And about 38 seconds remaining. As we take a look, a good pass there from Pichayapa and then slotted home by Sroifa Petnin. 19-14 over Malaysia. And with just 38 seconds remaining on the clock. Not looking good for Malaysia. We shall await for the game to be resumed here. Thailand just needing to let the clock run its course with 38 seconds remaining. Back on the court here. All the three players say for Yada who will sit this one out. Sroifa, Pantila and also Pichayapa. There's Pantila Pimvong. Sroifa. A push there. And another foul spotted. So possession to Malaysia. Five points are behind Thailand. 30 seconds remaining. Wong Chai Yi. Sweat Ying goes for the two pointer. A tough call there. It's not going to be easy. Missed the target and a possession of back to Thailand. More or less about two shot clock. Less than 20 seconds. Goes for the shot. Now picked up here by Sinje. And another foul. It is from Thailand. And now the free throw given to Malaysia. Tan Sinje. The opportunity to take it to 15 for Malaysia. Sinje into the basket. The first one. Still four points are behind and this one will re reduce the deficit. Merely, no, miss the target. Off the rim. And it will be Thailand. A shot from behind the arc. A final shot of the day. Nope, no basket there. For Tan Sinje means the final score here. It is Thailand emerging as the victorious team with a win over Malaysia 19-15. Good work there from Thailand. Good try as well for Malaysia. Final score once more. Thailand 19, Malaysia 15.
So a win and a loss there for Malaysia. They will have to wait the outcome of the next game between Thailand and Mongolia. And up next will be the men's game between Thailand and Malaysia in men pool A. So stay with us as we're going to go straight into the action here between Thailand and Malaysia. And making their first appearance today, Team Thailand's men. Bong Sakon, James Sawat, number 11, uh, twen, uh, number 14. Nicola Franco, 22, is Kantapat Saridnet. And number 23, Siri Wood, uh, Tip Kanok, the four players for Team Thailand. In white today. And up against. Their neighbor, Team Malaysia, the home team. Once more represented by Yaprun Sam, number three. Number 12 is Leong Zhen Kang. Number 10 is Lim Wan Xiong. And last but not least, number eight is Li Jia Jun. Second appearance after the loss to Mongolia earlier. They will hope to get the win here over Thailand to stay alive in the contention for the final later on. Donald Francis Green and Rhiannon Della Torre as the two game referees. Coin toss to determine the team that will begin the game and the team that will defend the four young players of Malaysia against the four young players from Thailand. Let's hope for a great action of FIBA 3x3 basketball game here at the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022. Stop for Asia in Penang, Malaysia. Okay, just so uh, waiting for the ball, I think. And there we have it. Still waiting for the signal for the game to begin. And in the meantime, more practice time for the two teams, Malaysia and Thailand. Thailand first appearance for today, day four here in Penang. While for Malaysia, the second appearance for the day after the loss to Mongolia earlier today.
Well, we're just uh, waiting for some uh, issues uh, to be ironed out pertaining to the playing surface of the court here. Just checking that we've got everything under control and in a perfect playing condition for the players as a player safety is uh, the utmost important in this competition. So in the meantime, more practice uh, time for both Thailand and Malaysia. Stay with us. Live streaming here from Penang Island, Malaysia. Another great weather outside there. Outside of this uh, shopping mall in a sunny Penang Island, Malaysia. The venue for the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022 in Penang. Okay, so we are on system go now with Malaysia and Thailand. Finally gets underway. Malaysia in black and Thailand in white. Ten minutes. The time allocated for this format. Or the first team to reach 21 will win the game. Nicola Franco here for Thailand with Sarit Net. And the first foul from Thailand by Franco there, spotted by the referee. So therefore, possession given to Malaysia. Yes, Wan Siong goes for the first shot. Off the rim, back to Thailand here, Franco. 
Oh, this possess and Zhen Kang surely into the basket by Leong Zhen Kang for Malaysia. Franco keeps possession. Ah, precision pass towards Sarit Net. Sarit Net couldn't find the target. Yes, into the basket. Finally. So the first point for Thailand and there's a foul as well. Opportunity here for Kantapat Sarit Net to add to the tally for Thailand early in this game. Into the basket by Sarit Net. Second point for Thailand. Jia Jun. Jia Jun tries to pass the ball towards Shen Kang. Was blocked. Jia Jun. Straight into the basket there. Franco. Shen Kang goes for the shot. As we take a look at uh, this uh, action replay with Lee Jia Jun, another point for Malaysia. Zhang Kang, Run Sam from behind the arc of the board there from Run Sam. Sarit Net now picks it up behind the arc, missed the target as well. Zhang Kang goes for the point, a nice layup there from uh, Leong Zhang Kang. Added to Malaysia's tally, 3-2 now over Thailand. Zhen Kang, as you can see from the action replay, nicely done. A solo effort there from the number 12, Malaysia. Sarit Net, Tip Kanak awaits. Sarit Net goes for it, hit the rim instead. Malaysia from behind the arc, Run Sam back to Zhen Kang. So Wan Xiong actually number 10 and Wan Xiong. Good work there from Lim Wan Xiong for Malaysia. Shirt pulling there, spotted by the referee. As we take a look once more, the action replay. Wan Xiong, a solo effort, and takes it all the way to the net. Malaysia now in the lead 4 2 over Thailand. Back to Thailand, the possession of Franco. Tip Kanak. Tip Kanak goes for the two pointer. Further instruction from the referee laying down the law. Three fouls from Malaysia and two from Thailand so far. And yet another foul from Thailand this time around. Well, this kind of call certainly will need to be adhered to by both sets of players to ensure that we have a smooth game of 3x3 basketball. So the free throw given to Thailand. James Sawat, the shot into the basket. That one takes Thailand to three currently. Malaysia in the lead, 4-3. Jia Jun, Zhen Kang. Zhen Kang goes to the basket. A solo effort of the rim. Another second effort from uh, Zhen Kang. Delivers the point for Malaysia. A real tussle for the ball there between Tip Kanong and uh, Malaysia's Wan Xiong and Zhen Kang. As we take a look once more at the action replay, a tip towards Zhen Kang by Wan Xiong and Zhen Kang delivers. Possession back to Thailand here. 7.45 remaining on the clock. Tip Kanok. Oh, just missing the basket. At the sound of the whistle from uh, the referee, but will have this free throw. Nonetheless, 
Opportunity to take Thailand closer to Malaysia at 3-5. Off the rim. And it's gone out of bound. It will be possession back to Thailand from behind the arc. Nicola Franco. Franco with a shot. Tip cannot miss it. Jiajun here, number eight for Malaysia. Jiajun, he's quick. Goes for the shot now. Still Jiajun off the board there. A real battle for the ball. As we take a look once more at the effort from Lee Jiajun. He tried but was denied by the board. Possession back to Malaysia from behind the arc. Wan Xiong. Wan Xiong goes for the shot into it, into the basket. Extending Malaysia's lead here, 6-3. Jaim Sawad as well. Precision shot into the basket by Jaim Sawad. Wan Xiong from behind the arc. Nicely done by Lim Wan Xiong. Extending the lead for Malaysia now at 8-5. Franco for Thailand. Nice layup there from Nicola Franco. Takes Thailand to six and trickling on the rim but not into the basket by Run Sam. Franco as well, off the rim. Still in play, Run Sam. Now this is Wan Xiang. Wan Xiang goes with a shot too high by Wan Xiang. Zhen Kang, what can he do? Off the rim by Zhen Kang. And now possession for Thailand with Sarit Net. Picks it up. Still in play. Lost the ball to Malaysia now. Here's the opportunity. Was a block and back to Thailand. What a battle here between Malaysia and Thailand. Uh, Franco goes for a shot. Denied by the rim. About six minutes remaining on the clock. As we take a look once more at this uh, piece of action from uh, Wan Xiong delivering a two-pointer for Malaysia. Timeout call. And serious discussions of a strategy for Team Malaysia here. Wan Xiong on the chair. Jia Jun, Run Sam and Zhen Kang. Putting up a real challenge uh, toward the Thai players. Jaim Sawat, Sarit Net, Tip Kanok with a Franco on the chair. Well, it is uh, Jaim Sawat who will sit this one out. Back on the court now to continue with the action. Thailand and Malaysia with 5.58 remaining on the clock. Malaysia now moving the ball. Lee Jia Jun, Zhen Kang. And Run Sam. Jia Jun was denied. The blocking there, or rather the defense, was put up by Saritna, the big guy. Denying the pass for Lee Jia Jun. So possession back to Malaysia. Jia Jun from behind the arc goes for the shot off the rim. Now Thailand Tip Kanak was well blocked by Run Sam. Goes out of play. And we have the ball back behind the arc here. It will be Thailand's ball. They are trailing by just the two points here to Malaysia. Franco. Jaim Sawat with a shot off the board. Picked up by Franco. Surely that one will be in. Point number seven for Thailand. Well, it's all happening here. A real battle between the two nations. Malaysia with another point delivered by Wan Xiong. It's nine for Team Malaysia. Well intercepted by Tik Kanok. Jaim Sawat. Another foul spotted by the referee as we take a look at this uh, action replay. 
Wan Xiong inside the arc. So that's a one point there for Wan Xiong. Here comes Zhen Kang. Zhen Kang. The pass for Li Jiajun goes for the two pointer. Number eight, Li Jiajun delivers yet another two pointer for Malaysia. 11 7 in favor of Malaysia. Thailand is back at it with Franco. Another point for Franco. Zhen Kang keeps the ball for Malaysia, goes to the basket and into the basket by Zhen Kang. 12 8, four point leads here over Thailand. And 4.30 remaining on the clock here. Wan Xiong goes with a shot. As Chen Kan tries to catch the ball, but it's gone out of play as we take a look once more at a dis-effort by Leong Chen Kang, trickling on the rim and into the basket by the number 12, Malaysia. Jaim Sawat for Thailand. Tip Kanok goes with a shot, easily done there from under the basket. Point number nine for Thailand. Jia Jun. Jia Jun delivers yet another precision shot into the basket. 14 now for Malaysia. Saritnet surely, yes. Easily done by Saritnet. Four points advantage over Thailand with uh, plenty of time remaining as we take a look at this action replay where Sarit Net, easy path there for Sarit Net to strike it home. 10 Thailand and 14 Malaysia. All the actions happening are really happening here between the two teams. Jia Jun lost the ball, now back to Thailand. Jaim Sawat, number 11. Sarit Net. Saritnet looks for the space and found it. Despite the challenge on Saritnet, 11 for Thailand. Runsam tries to lob the ball towards uh, Wan Xiong. Got a foul spotted again by the referee. Thailand with eight fouls and Malaysia six. 3.30 remaining on the clock. Malaysia. Holding on to the lead here, 14-11. After losing the first game to Mongolia earlier, Malaysia surely will be going for the win here against uh, the neighbouring country of Thailand. Well, day four here at the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022. Stop for Asia in Penang Island. All the action happening between Malaysia and Thailand and Lim Wan Siong with the opportunity to extend the lead here for Malaysia with his free throw. Wan Siong against the basket. Once more for Wan Siong. Off the rim instead. But Zhen Kang picks the ball up and slotted it home for 11, 15, Malaysia. Now Thailand's a quick reply from Tip Kanok. Run Sam. Run Sam tries to pass the ball towards Zhen Kang. It is back to Thailand with Jaim Sawat off the bot. It is a battle for the ball now out of the rebound. A 3.06 on the clock remaining. Malaysia still with a three points a lead over Thailand. Siriwut Tip Kanak. Franco. Franco with a possession. Back to Saritnet. Saritnet with a shot from behind the arc of the rim. That's the end of the shot clock. Yet another foul spotted by the referee. The ninth foul. It is two free throws for the opponent for Malaysia. Wan Xiong can take this to 17 with the two free throws. The first one in by Wan Xiong. And the second one. 
to take Malaysia to 17. Lim Wan Siang for Malaysia against the basket. Nope, off the rim instead. So just 16. Still time for Thailand. Four points are trailing behind Malaysia. Saritnet picks it up. And able to slot it home off the board. 13 for Thailand. Lee Jiajun. Jiajun looks for the space. And a nice layup from Lee Jiajun. 17 for Malaysia. Tip Kanak as well, putting it in for 14 Thailand. It's point for point now. And another foul from Thailand. Unfortunately for the Thais. As we take a look once more at this action from Tip Kanak. With a layup into the basket. Point number 14 for Thailand. And two free throws for Malaysia. Zhen Kang with the opportunity to take it to 18 off the board. Zhen Kang need to keep his cool. Composure. To deliver the point and into the basket. So it's 18 for Malaysia. Remember, 21 will win the game. So Malaysia is three points away from the win. Jiajun. 2.19 on the clock. Jiajun against Sarit Net. The big guy will try to deny him. Off the rim. And gone out of bounds. I think of um, Yap Run Sam. So it will be Thailand's ball still. Four points are trailing behind Malaysia. James Sawat. James Sawat. This is Franco. Franco with a shot into the basket. Point number 15 for Thailand. Jiajun. And a two-pointer effort from Malaysia. Too high there from uh, Yap Run Sam. Another look with the action replay. It is Franco putting it in at the second time of asking. Delivering point number 15 for Thailand. So 15 Thailand and 18 Malaysia with about 150 remaining on the clock here. You're watching the live streaming here of the game between Malaysia and Thailand. Men pull a game number two. Day four here at the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022. This is stop for Asia. Okay. Ready. With the action here, Jaim Sawat has the ball for Thailand, goes for the two-pointer. Picked up by Leon Zhengkang, who will need to take it to behind the arc. Jiajun goes for the two-pointer. Now it's back to Thailand with Franco. Franco, what a good pass that towards Sarit Net. That's into the basket. Point 16, it's not yet over. Malaysia got to watch out here for Thailand. Zhen Kang did well to slot it home with another point off the board into the basket there from Leong Zhen Kang. Nicola Franco with another attempt as we take a look at this action replay. Zhen Kang did well and a nice shot there from Leong Zhen Kang to take Malaysia to 19. And three points the advantage over Thailand. Two points are needed by Malaysia to win the game. And Thailand now will have the free throw here. Jaim Sawat. Off the rim there from uh, Jaim Sawat. And another opportunity here for Jaim Sawat to deliver the point for Thailand. Nope, off the rim as well. And pushed in by uh, Franco. 17 for Thailand. Two points for Malaysia and the game will end. Nope, it's not yet. Another foul from Thailand and Malaysia now will have the opportunity to wrap up this game. Two shots for Lim Wan Siang. An opportunity here for Malaysia. Wan Siang 
of the rim instead. And one more shot from Wan Xiong into the basket. 2017 Malaysia now. Just a point away. And it is 59 seconds on the clock. Lee Jiajun for Malaysia. Surely Jiajun. Runsam goes for the basket. Into the basket by Yap Runsam to win the game for Malaysia. And long last. What a shot there. A real battle between the two nations. And in the end, Malaysia prevailing with a 21-17 score over Thailand. And once more, the action they play here. Run Sam, who delivered the winning point for Malaysia. Final score once more. Malaysia 21, Thailand 17. Okay, that's Malaysia against Thailand. Up next will be the woman pool B between Japan and Vietnam. We're straight into the action here. Japan, Vietnam, and pool B. The Japan woman has been going great guns in uh, this competition this whole week in Penang. And this is their first appearance today. And they are back on the court. Karin Imori, 14. Mona Tateyama, number 10. Norika Kono, number 6. And Ririka Okuyama, number 2. So no Mayu Lucy Kubota for them. Replaced by Mona Tateyama with Imori Kono and Okuyama for Team Japan. And they are up against uh, Vietnam who lost their earlier game uh, to China. So second appearance uh, today for Team Vietnam. Number 8 is Huyen Mighty. Number 13, uh, Hang Tu Bui. Number four is a Minty Pan. And number nine, last but not least, is Tao Ti Huang. So the four players for Team Vietnam are against the favorite here, Team Japan. And we have Nicole Lim Sokun and Tan Kian Hua. The two referees being charged with the game here between Japan and uh, Vietnam. So we all set Japan in white and uh, Vietnam in red. So Tipan will sit this one out. Likewise for Kono for Japan. Uyen Mighty number eight. Number nine is um, Ti Huang. And also Hang Tu Bui for Vietnam. And Japan with Imori to Okuyama. Okuyama tries with the first shot. Was uh, denied. There was a foul there and the first free throw for Japan. Okuyama with a chance to put Japan one up. Off the rim, unfortunately. But still possession being kept by Japan here. Number 13, Hang Tubui. To be left it for Ti Huang. Ti Huang from behind the arc. No more time there available for Ti Huang, unfortunately. And it will be possession back to Japan's. Imori. Oh, what a good pass there from Imori. And Tateyama finds the net. Point number two for Japan. 
And a tussle for the ball there between Imori and also Huyen Mai Chi. So back to possession for Japan here, Tateyama. Kono, Tateyama with a shot, lobbing it straight into the net. Point number three for Japan. Here comes a Vietnam, Huyen Mai Chi goes for the shot off the rim. Tateyama, a back pass, this is Okuyama. Tateyama, another pass towards Okuyama. Okuyama goes for the two-pointer. But denied by the rim and here comes the shot from Okuyama to take Japan to four to nothing. Possession of being kept there by Ti Huang. A foul signal by the referee. The first one from Japan and likewise uh, for Vietnam. It is four to nothing early in this game in favor of the Japan. Ti Huang was denied with his uh, with her shot there. And a first free throw for Vietnam. It is a Tao Te Huang with the opportunity with the free throws here. Missed the first one. Into the basket. So 4-1. Vietnam has its first point. Japan still laid a poor pass there from uh, Karin Imori. It was meant for Okuyama but gone out of bounds, so dead for possession. Back to Team Vietnam. Uyen Mai Thi, Thi Pan, finds the net. Okuyama. Tateyama here, surely. A nice layup there from Tateyama. 5-2 Japan leads. Still battling for the ball there between the Japan and uh, Vietnam. Thi Huang. But it is uh, Japan's ball back to behind uh, the arc. Kono. Tatiyama. A good pass there from Tatiyama towards Norika Kono for Japan. Six point. Oh, what a defend there from uh, Ririka Okuyama denying Tihuang. So back to possession for Japan. Tateyama, a good pass towards the Kono. Kono with a reverse shot into the basket for seven points. Japan. Tipan for Vietnam goes for the two pointer, finds the net. A good shot there from Tipan. Here's Karin Imori. Imori goes to the basket as well. Well, despite the shot that went in, as we take a look at this action replay from a T Pan, the Vietnamese a lady precision shot from her. And now with a free throw for Karini Mori of Japan. 8 4 off the rim. Not quite precision, but slotted in off the rebound there by Okuyama. 9 4, Japan leads. Karini Mori, Ririka Okuyama, and also Mona Tatayama for Japan. Imori with the ball. Tatayama, Okuyama here. Back to Tatayama. Looks for the space and almost finding Imori at the end of the pass there. But good challenge from Tao Ti Huang denying Japan. And the first timeout called by the referee with Japan here in the lead 9 4 over Vietnam with about 6.52 remaining on the clock. Okay, back on the court here. 
Kono lobbing it up towards uh, Okuyama. The discussion among the referees there. There was a foul spotted. So it will be possession instead given her back to Vietnam. Uyen Mighty. Uyen Mighty to Ti Huang. Ti Huang. Ti Pan awaits. This possess keeps possession, but too late. The end of the shot clock as we take a look. The action replay here with Ti Huang thrice was blocked by Okuyama and also Norika Kono. Kono for Japan. Tatiyama, back to Imori. Japan keeps possession, holding the initiative here. Imori will go for the two-pointer of the rim. Nine-four, Japan leads, and a possession back to Team Vietnam, Huyen Mighty. Ti Huang. Ti Huang tries to look for Huyen Mighty, lost the ball now to Japan. Imori with a two-pointer attempt, picked up here by Kono. Here's Okuyama. Okuyama to the basket, no, nope. back to Kono who goes for the two-pointer. Still possession being kept by Japan. Another call from the referee. And a possession given back to Team Vietnam from behind the arc. Minty Pan goes for the shot. Was a denied. Imori. Okuyama here. Tateyama. Well defended by Vietnam, denying Japan with a shot. But a two pointer was given by Okuyama. Now Japan in the lead here, 11 to 4. Another foul from uh, Vietnam as we take a look at that shot from Okuyama sails straight into the basket. 5.31 on the clock and Japan leads 11-4. Tateyama, Okuyama here. Imori has the space. And goes with the ball, the easiest of tasks for Japan now, adding on to the lead. Tipan, a shot into the basket. Oh, it went into the basket, and that's a two pointer for Vietnam, delivered by Huyen Mighty. Okuyama picks the ball up. And a shot delivered, but not into the basket by Okuyama. As we take a look at Huyen Mighty, it rebounded off the rim, but into the basket. Nonetheless, so it's Vietnam with six and Japan 12. With about 4.58 remaining on the clock here. Four fouls from Vietnam and two from Japan. Great piece of action here from uh, both teams, Japan and Vietnam. A free throw for Japan. It is uh, Ririka Okuyama with a chance. Uh, that's point number 13 for Japan. Two free throws awarded. And the second one for Okuyama into the basket. Uh, that takes Japan to 14. And six for Vietnam. Hang Tubui lost the ball. Picked up here by uh, Tateyama. Okuyama to Imori. Imori runs to the basket. A nice layup. Nope. Almost into the basket, but not quite. So it is Japan still holding on to the lead, 14-6. With about 4.40 remaining on the clock here. Huyen Mighty. Huyen Mighty up against Kono. The pass there towards her, nobody. Picked up by Okuyama instead, a two-pointer. 
sell straight into the basket by Okuyama. That takes uh, Japan to 16 and 6 for Vietnam. Once more, Okuyama, Imori from behind the arc. Still in play. Vietnam keeps possession of a balance there slightly. Number 13, Ang Tubui. As we take a look at this action replay, precision shot sails into the basket from uh, Okuyama of Japan. Mintipan here for Vietnam. Ti Huang. Ti Huang, a pass towards Hang Tubui. Tubui with a shot off the board, unfortunately for her. First team to 21 will win the game and team timeout called by the referee once more. Four fouls apiece for both Japan and Vietnam. And 10 points advantage over Vietnam for Japan. It's looking good for them. Well, on paper, they are the favourite in this uh, game between the two nations. No Lucy Mayu Kubota today. It is the four ladies here. Carrying the torch for Japan. Okuyama. And a pass towards Kono by Tatayama. Into the basket. 17 now, Japan. Uyen Baiti with a shot off the board. Still in play. It's gone out of bounds now. The challenge from uh, Okuyama on Huyen Mighty. Once more as we take a look at this action replay. What a pass there. And what a shot reversely done by Kono. Imori. Number 10 is Tatayama. Left it for Okuyama. Goes for a two-pointer off the rim. And back to Japan with Imori slotting it home. 18-6 now. Three points are needed to wrap up this game. And they have slightly more than three minutes remaining on the clock here. Here we go. Imori. Tatayama has the ball, left it for Imori. Imori goes with a shot into the basket. At the end of the 12th second, uh, that takes Japan to 19. Two points away from the win. It is Kono with another shot delivered into the basket. 26. Overwhelming lead here over Vietnam. Just a point needed. Ti Huang missing the target. Now back to Japan. This could be it. Tateyama, Imori, Imori with a shot. Still in play, back to Vietnam now. Tipan with another shot. Missed the basket, back to Japan. And it is the Norika Kono for the win for Japan. Delivered by the number six player, Norika Kono. Final score here, a big win for Japan. 21-6 over Vietnam. With about 2.12 remaining on the clock. Congratulations to Japan and good try to Vietnam. It is Japan. Once more, final score, Japan 21, Vietnam 6. And up next will be the man, a pool B between China and a Vietnam. That's happening in a few minutes from now. So stay with us.
And we're back here, China making their first appearance today, the China men, that is. And in Pool B, they are represented here by number 27, Liu Junhu, number 9, Xiao Jiaren, number 20, Xiao Jiayi, and number 6, Li Haonan. Team China, one of the favorite to make it into the final today. And they will be up against a team Vietnam. Kim Jisoo, number 32 for Vietnam. And again, will be joined by his teammates, number 35 here, Dan Kalek. Number 6 is uh, Win Phuc Nguyen. And last but not least, number 11 is Ban Vo Kim. So the four players after the loss to Japan earlier, another defeat here will signal the end of their participation for today. They will still be back here tomorrow. All the teams. So Japan and Vietnam all set. Nicole Lim Sok Koon and Tan Kian Hua, the two game uh, referee. Again, given the responsibility to officiate at this game. The eighth game of the day. So the battle will be Japan and China from Pool B and Vietnam will be looking at this daunting task to try and get the win over China. Well, nothing is impossible in this game. 3x3 basketball. And let's hope for a great game of 3x3 basketball between, a Japan, uh, between China and a Vietnam. So we all set straight into the game here. Possession first will be given uh, to China or Vietnam, back your pardon. But the first point delivered there by Li Haonan of China. A simple lay. Phuc Nguyen, number six there for Vietnam. Good job there, but um, just missing the target. Being kept in play by Xiao Chiaren. Chiaren intercepted by Kim Jisoo. Jisoo, oh, what a pass there from Jisoo. But it went out, I think, of a Li Aonan of China. So the free throw for China, or rather the possession given back to China. Kakleg there for Vietnam. And still, Dan Kakle missing the target. An opportunity there for Vietnam. Likewise, Puk Nguyen was denied. Good defending there, Team China. So the free throw has been given in favor of uh, Vietnam. First foul from China. So Win Puk Nguyen with the opportunity to level the score for Vietnam. Off the rim. Chiaren for China. Haonan with a shot from outside, from behind the arc, for a two-pointer for China. Good challenge there by Zhao Jiaren. And a possession given back to Vietnam, Ban Vo Kim. Up against Zhao Chiai. Vo Kim was denied. The end of the 12th second, back to China. China with the space, and Jiayi, second time of asking, into the basket by Xiao Jiayi. 4 0 China leads. Vo Kim from behind the arc, looking for the two pointer. Back to China. Xiao Jiayi, straight into the basket. Another point for China. Jisoo, and a pass attempt towards Ban Vo Kim by Kim Jisoo. Unable to do so, there was a challenge by China. So possession from behind the arc given back to two team of Vietnam. Ban Vo Kim, Jisoo. 
Win Puk Nguyen. Puk Nguyen dribbles it. Goes to the basket, almost finding the target. That was a good challenge there from Michelle Chiaran, uh, denying Puk Nguyen. Great defending there. That's an important element of the 3x3 basketball game. Denying the shooter, Xiao Jiayi. Li Haonan from behind the arc of the rim. Possession being kept by China. Xiao Jiaren takes it to the basket and sails away into the net. Point number six for China. Dan Kak Lei almost there. Opportunity for Vietnam. At the sound of the whistle as we take a look once more. Xiao Jiaren takes it home and straight into the basket. Now free throw for Vietnam, Dan Kak Lei. Into the basket. Rebounded off the, the rim momentarily and into the basket eventually. Haonan slotted it home. 7-1 now for China. Vokim. It's Ban Vokim. Runs with the ball into the basket. Surely, yes. Ban Vokim, second point for Vietnam. Jun Hu. Jun Hu. Using to full advantage his hide advantage there. Ban Vokim from behind the arc and into the net by Ban Vokim. Four points for Vietnam and eight for China. Sharon. Sharon. What a dribble there from Zhao Sharon. Getting the better of his marker there. Point number nine for China. Kak Lei denied there by Zhao Jiaren and back to China no challenger there for Li Haonan is point number 10 for China Jesu goes all the way just missing the basket there but back to China the sound of the whistle there from the referee is signaling another foul that has been spotted there. China leads 10 to 4. And a timeout call from the referee. Vietnam and our dual stars there for this team. After that loss to Japan, they will need to win over China to stay alive from Pool B. So free throw to China to extend the lead for them at 10-4 currently. Liu Junhu with a shot into the basket. It's 11 now China. Ban Bo Kim for Vietnam. Bo Kim, good work there Ban Bo Kim. A nice drive by Bo Kim. Point five for, Cha for Vietnam. Here's Junhu. From outside, from behind the arc. And the ball gone out of bound. And it will be Vietnam's ball. From behind the arc once more. Five Vietnam and 11 China. Five fifty-three remaining on the clock here. A foul there on, uh, or rather, from uh, Xiao Jiaren. Puk Nguyen facing Jiaren. And a pass from Puk Nguyen towards Ban Bo Kim. Nicely done there. Six for Vietnam and 11, China. Ban Bo Kim, another two-pointer attempt. Puk Nguyen has the chance there, slotted it home. Off the rebound. 7-11. And a two-pointer from a China Xiao Chiaren, adding to China's tally. 13-7. And Kim Jisoo for Vietnam as well at the end of the 
12 second shot clock. Shao Jiayi. Jiayi, what a good pass there for Jun Hu. Easiest of task for Liu Jun Hu. 14 for China. Book Nguyen. Book Nguyen and a drive towards the basket. Slotting point number eight for Vietnam. Once more, as we take a look at this effort, sublime from China, Liu Junhu. Absolutely no challenge on him to slot it home. It is Vietnam's ball, Kak Le. Put Nguyen Yan here with the ball from behind the arc against Li Hao Nan. Still put Nguyen Yan two shot. That's the end of the 12 second shot clock. So ball back to Team China from behind the arc. 4.37 remaining on the clock. It is China 14 and Vietnam 8. Jun Ho, Haunan tries. Still possession being kept by China. Jun Ho goes for a two pointer. Slightly shot off the target. Possession given back to Team Vietnam here. Ban Vo Kim, 11. Vokim with a shot of the rim. Someone's shoes fell off. It is uh, Kim Jisoo. Playing with one shoe now. It is another point for Vietnam. 9-15, but China with another point by Lee Hao Nan. Kim Jisoo playing with one shoes. On his feet. Certainly he's back now to put on the other shoes. So 16 for China and 9 for Vietnam. 3.47 remaining on the clock. Liu Junhu, Xiao Chiaren, Xiao Jiayi and Li Hao Nan for Team China. Later this afternoon, it will be Japan and China to battle it out in Pool B. And that could determine the winner for Pool B, which team will progress to the final. Here we go. 3.38 remaining. China with possession here. Zhao Jiayi, Li Haonan. A good challenge there from uh, Puk Nguyen. But foul nonetheless from Vietnam, which means the free throw here given to China with Li Haonan, the chance to take China to 17 into the basket. Four points are needed to wrap up this game. Ban Vo Kim, always handy, and another drive. And a good layup into the basket from Ban Vo Kim. And there you go. China. Another effort. Dunking it into the net for point number 18. Bok Ngu Yan for Vietnam. At the end of the shot clock. Xiao Jiaren. Another shot from a Li Haonan. Ban Vo Kim with a shot as well. Off the rim. 18-10. Three points are needed to wrap up this game. The lob too high for Li Haonan. And Vietnam now surely put Nguyen with point number 11 for the team. Xiao Jiaren goes with a shot and into the basket. 19 for China. As we take a look once more at the slam dunking by Xiao Jiaren. And China in the lead with 19-11 over Vietnam.
2.22 remaining on the clock. You are watching live streaming here from Penang Island, Malaysia. The game in men pool B between China and Vietnam. It's towards the end now. Two points are needed by China or 2.22 on the clock to run out. And China with a free throw here. Zhao Jiaren can extend the lead for Vietnam. 2011, just one more point needed by Team China. Good interception there from Ban Vo Kim. Vo Kim goes to the basket, looks for the chance, almost finding the target, but not quite. And now Team China with a chance. It is Shao Jiayi. Well, denied by Puk Ngu Yen. And another shot into the basket by Shao Jiayi to confirm the win with 1.55 remaining on the clock. It is China with the win here over Vietnam. So, final score China 21 and Vietnam 11. As we take a look at this shot, the winning point delivered by Shao Jiayi. Next up, at 1.40 local time over here, will be the game in Woman Pule between Mongolia and Thailand. So be sure you continue to stay with us. We'll be right back.
straight into YouTube lah. That's right. Ah ya ya. Tengok orang putih tadi. Ah kena. Selalu dengar saya ingat orang putih memang standard lah English lah we use English language lah. This one worldwide, tengok eh. Worldwide. English, they will so we, we must jaga lah. Worldwide. <laughs> and pay him compliment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is a compliment. <laughs> And we're back here at the Prangin Mall. More great action here at the FIBA 3x3 Nation League 2022. We are in the Pool A woman. And the game is between Mongolia and Thailand. These are the four ladies from Mongolia. Kulano Nolbata, Engtul Bazar Gurev, Erdenot, Makvanorov, and also Narangu Erden Bayan for Team Mongolia. And Team Thailand playing in blue, represented by Yada Sriha Raksa Sroifa Petnin, Pantila Pimvong, and uh, last but not least, Picha Yapa Puek Raksa. Now, this is the story Mongolia lost to Malaysia earlier, and Thailand defeated Malaysia before this. So, who will it be between Mongolia, Thailand, or Malaysia? It will surely be decided upon at the end of this game is Thailand wins they will make it to the final Ryan and Della Torre and uh, Nicole Lim Sok Hoon as the two game referees for Mongolia and uh, Thailand we are all set and the coin, the coin toss to determine uh, Mongolia or Thailand who will begin the game and which team will defend Engtul, Erdenot and Kulan to start the game for Mongolia. Producing some great 3x3 basketball this week. Fortunately, this morning to open the days are proceeding today. They lost to home team Malaysia and Thailand with the three players. Pichayapa, Yada and also Sroifa. Already first foul for Thailand, so Mongolia has possession of the ball. Erdinot. Erdinot finding Kulan. The end of the 12 seconds, too long the time taken. They've got to be mindful of the 12 second shot clock. It's Pichiyaba here for Thailand and Yada. Into the basket by Yada. A two-pointer delivered by Yada. Sroifa Petnin likewise looking for the two-pointer. Nails it. Already Thailand in the lead. Four to nothing here. Erdinot two shot. The two-pointer attempt by Erdinot. Once again, if Thailand win this one day, we'll make it to the final later this afternoon. Possession back to Thailand and Pantila Pimbong here. Pantila runs with the ball. What a layup there from Pantila. Great solo effort there from Pantila. Delivering the first point and likewise Engtul. First point for Mongolia as well. 
Thailand in the lead here, 5-1. So we take a look at this action replay. Antul with a drive and a layup there into the basket. It's Yada with a shot off the rim. Back to Mongolia here. Engtul. Kulan picks it up and made no mistake into the basket by Kulan on Olbata. As you can see from the action replay here, simple pass from Engtul and then Kulan made no mistake to slot it home. It is Mongolia 2 and Thailand 5. Sroifa Petnin, too high over the basket from Sroifa. Foul spotted and uh, it is Mongolia's foul unfortunately for them. So possession given back to Thailand. Pantila. Sroifa has the ball. Good challenge from Mongolia. Kulan with head and odd. Back to Kulan on Olbata, finding the basket there. Takes Mongolia to three. Sroifa Petnin. A two-pointer attempt into the basket by Sroifa. Thailand seven. Edinard looking for the two-pointer as well. And it will be, nope, off the bar instead from Kulan. As we take a look at this action replay, Sroifa precision shot into the basket from her. And the ensuing foul from Thailand now has given this free throw to Kulan on Olbata into the basket by Kulan. Takes Mongolia to four. And Thailand seven. Picha Yapa off the rim in state. Erdenot. Erdenot for Mongolia. Still holding on to the ball. Lost possession now. Back to Thailand. Pichayapa, Pichayapa takes it home. Good layup there with her left hand into the basket. Thailand leads 8 to 4. Erdinot goes for the two pointer off the rim. Narangu now with the rebounded ball and into the basket from Narangu. Yada tries but misses the target. Here comes the long shot there from uh, Kulan Onol Pata. Still Kulan holding on to the ball. Good challenge at the sound of the whistle from the referee signaling another foul there from uh, Thailand, which means free throw here given to Mongolia with uh, Kulan Onol Pata. Opportunity to draw Mongolia closer to Thailand. Off the basket, unfortunately. Just under seven minutes remaining on the clock here. And the first time a call from the referee. Mongolia lost to Malaysia earlier. And another loss here will signal the end of their participation today. But Thailand with a great opportunity to march all the way to the final later this afternoon if they are to beat Mongolia in this game. A serious discussion, Kulan and Odin Erdinot. Two of the key players for Mongolia. Engtul. But Kulan will sit this one out. Engtul, Narangu and also Erdinot will be battling it out with the Thais. And Kedinot to Angtul. Couldn't hold on to the ball, unfortunately. Angtul. And possession back to Thailand. Pichayapa. Moving violation there from Thailand. A fourth foul from them. So back to Mongolia for the possession. Erdinot, Narangu, back to Erdinot. Erden, 
being challenged by Sroivare. Really, a positive play from Thailand denying the possession of the Mongolians. Now they have possession back from behind the arc. That's a pass towards uh, Pichayapa and a two-pointer shot there from Pichayapa. Angtul from Mongolia. Angtul, a good run from Kulan, slotting it home. Point for Mongolia. Mongolia trail 6-10 currently as we take a look at the pass from Angtul. And Kulan did well to slot it home. But still trails by four points uh, to Thailand. Kulan at the sound of the whistle there, but unfortunately no basket for her. There's about 6.10 remaining on the clock here. Pantila, oh, what a pass there. A good pass, but just not able to find the basket there. It's uh, Mongolia's turn. Narangu with a shot off the rim there from Narangu. Picked up by Yangtul. No, the ball gone out of bound. So possession back to Thailand. Bechayapa. Sroifa with a shot there off the rim. Back to Mongolia. Kulan. Always handy with the ball. Kulan tries and Kulan nails it. Point number seven for Kulan on Olbata. Battling it out here. Trails by three points to Thailand. Mongolia need the win here to stay alive. Here's Erdinot. A two pointer attempt from Erdinot. Rebounded ball picked up by Kulan and Kulan goes for the shot too high. And a second time of asking from a Kulan into the net. And that's point number eight for Kulan as we take a look at this action replay here. Making no mistake from under the basket. And she will have this opportunity to add to the tally with his free throw off the rim there, unfortunately for Kulan. Foul spotted there from Akulan, so therefore it is a back to Thailand's a possession at the back. Sroifa with a two-pointer attempt. Wow, Sroifa nails it. Nicely done, Sroifa. Nang Tool as well. Whoa, trickling on the rim, but not into the basket. No luck there. Ang Tool. Adenat goes for the shot. Not counted. As we take a look at this uh, re action replay, Sroifa precision shot by the number 10 Thai player. Twelve eight Thailand in the lead here. Another point delivered by Narangu to take Mongolia to nine. Possession for Thailand. Yada receiving it from uh, Picha Yapa. Sroifa as for it, but out of time, Thailand. Out of time. The end of the 12 second shot clock. 4.39 on the clock remaining. It is Thailand in the lead here, 12 9. Kulan with Erdinot. Erdinot with the shot was blocked. Mongolia still has possession. Erdinot with a shot off the rim. Now Yada picks it up for Thailand. And unfortunately, Pantila Pimbong couldn't handle the pass. It went out of bounds for Mongolia's ball from behind the arc. Lobbing it up for Kulan. Nicely done, Kulan. To give Mongolia two points within Thailand. Here comes Mongolia. 
Pantilla from behind the arc. Pantilla goes for a two-pointer. The number 24 delivers. 14 now for Thailand. Kulan, another point for Mongolia. A quick reply. But they need more points now. Here comes a pitcher Yapa for Thailand. What a run. Another foul spotted there by the referee. As we take a look at this action replay, Pantila from the right side of the court delivers uh, the precision throw into the basket. So 14 Thailand and 11 Mongolia. A three point lead. Mongolia. Well, not quite yet in crisis management. A 3.51 remaining on the clock. Still plenty of time for them to get back into this game. Trailing by three points uh, to Thailand. Nakula, Narangu and Angtul will take to the court now. With that, they're not sitting uh, this one out momentarily. So ball back to Thailand from behind the arc. Pantila. Sraifa picks it up. It is Sraifa, goes to the basket. And a pass towards Yada, well defended by Mongolia. Angtul. And a pass towards Narangu. Narangu being challenged. Still, Narangu goes for the basket. Too high. Too strong the shot from Narangu. As we take a look at this piece of action, Yada and was well defended by Mongolia, denying Yada there. Here comes Thailand. Sroifa tries to lob it up, but again denied. Still, the three points separating the two teams here. At 3.23 on the clock. And a hard pass there towards Yadas. Not going to be easy for her. So back to behind the arc. It is Mongolia's ball. Erdinot. Still Erdinot. Yada blocking her. It is Kulan now. Kulan. Too late. But there was a foul there. So back to Thailand, the possession from behind the arc. Pichai Yapa. Pichai Yapa up against Sardinot. This is Sroifa. Sroifa takes it to the basket. And was uh, well defended there by Narangu. Denying Sroifa. Free throw given for the foul. And uh, Sroifa Petnin with the opportunity for Thailand into the basket by Sroifa. Six fouls apiece from each Mongolian Thailand. Kulan, Kulan goes to the basket. Denied by the rim. Back to Mongolia now. Sroifa once more, twisting and turning and looks for the shot. Couldn't find it. It is still Thailand in the lead here, 15-11. And a good shot into the basket by Mongolia. Point number 12 for them. Sroifa denied by Erdinot. Erdinot, Kulan lost it. Picha Yapa has possession now from behind the arc. Here goes Picha Yapa, reverse shot off the rim by Picha Yapa. And then was pushed out by Eng Tool as we take a look at this shot from Mongolia. Early not a nice drive and a beautifully done. The layup to deliver the point for Mongolia. So 12 Mongolia and 15 Thailand. Still the three points here. The difference between the two teams. With 2.13 remaining on the clock, who will it be? Mongolia or Thailand? The first team to reach 21 wins, but we have only 2 minutes 13 seconds remaining on the clock here. So possession back to Mongolia. Uh, they not from behind the arc. 
Not quite finding the target there, Erdinard. Pantilla here for Thailand. Pantilla goes to the basket. Blocked by Erdinard. A foul there by Erdinard. So it means the free throw has been given to Thailand now. They will have two free throws. After seven fouls are by Mongolia. Pantila Pimbong with the first shot into the basket. Now with a chance to take it to 17. Pantila for Thailand. And to the basket as well. Nicely done. It is 17-12. A good lead here for Thailand. Mongolia needing the points quick. It's the end of the 12 seconds of shot clock. A second win for Thailand here will see them through to the final. Pichayapa. Pichayapa. Possession. Left for Sroifa. Sroifa takes it to the basket. Wow, what a shot there from Sroifa. 18. Thailand in the lead. With 12 for Mongolia. Kulan on Olbata. Good work there from Kulan. Thailand. Surely it's at 8.30 now. And Thailand with another shot by Sroifa. And this time from Pichayapa. A precision two-pointer there from Pichayapa. They're just a point away from the win here. 2013 Thailand lead Mongolia. And another shot there from Kulan. Two-pointer delivered by Kulan for Mongolia. But Thailand just needing one point now with less than a minute remaining. Still possession being kept by Thailand. Picha Yapa. Yada. Yada has the ball. Yada takes it to the basket. Surely it is the win. Nope. Not quite. But time is running out for Mongolia. Thailand holding on to the possession. This is Yada from behind the arc. Angtul tries with a two-pointer only off the board. Another point delivered by Kulan on Olbata for Mongolia at 16-20. Surely, nope. Pichayapa is coming to the end of the game. Mongolia 16 and Thailand 20 with three seconds remaining on the clock. It's looking so very good for Thailand now to march all the way to the final later this afternoon. And the final shot of the day from Saroifa and confirming Thailand as the winner over Mongolia at the end of the 10 minutes. So the final score here Thailand 20 and Mongolia 16. It will be Thailand from Pool A that will march all the way to the final. Congratulations, Thailand. Final score once more, Thailand 20, Mongolia 16. And up next will be the men, Pool A. Again, between the two nations, Mongolia and Thailand. So that is happening right away after this. So be sure you continue to stay with us. They are back on the court here, Team Mongolia. Or the man team that is. Again, represented by Bazaya Serma, signed by Dugar Erdan. And Saikan Bayar Saikan, and also Ulziroz Myakmar Surin. The four players who gave Mongolia the win over Malaysia earlier today. They will be looking for the win here over Thailand to make it to the final once more. And this is Team Thailand, Pong Sakon, Jaim Sawat, Nicola Franco, 
Kantabat Sarit Net. And last but not least, uh, Siriwood uh, Tip Kanok. The four players for Team Thailand. Who defeated Malaysia earlier. So it will be between Thailand and Mongolia to determine the winner in uh, Pool A that will make it to the final. Going to Francis Green and Tan Kian Hua as the two game uh, referees uh, for uh, this game between Mongolia and Thailand. We're just waiting for the signal for the game to begin. And for now, more practice throws for the two teams. Thailand and Mongolia battling it out to determine the winner from Pool A to make it all the way to the final later this afternoon. Okay, we're about ready to begin the game. Teams of Mongolia and of Thailand on the court here for the game in men pool A, game number three, to determine the winner from pool A. After both teams uh, defeated Malaysia earlier, you're watching live streaming here from uh, Prangin Mall. In Georgetown City, the center of Pulau Pinang or Penang Island in Malaysia. So game is underway. Mongolia has the first point from Sain Bayar. Tip Kanok has the ball now for Thailand. The shot, nope. The rebounded, picked up by Tip Kanok once more. Now it's back to Mongolia. Ozi Ross with a shot. A two-pointer delivered by Uzi Ross. Give Mongolia a 3-0 lead here over Thailand. Here's Franco for Thailand. Driving it straight into the net. Basaya to Sain Bayar. Well, what a challenge there from Sarit Net. But still, Sain Bayar able to find the basket. It is Mongolia with 4-1 lead. As we take a look at this action replay, despite the challenge by Sarit Net, Sain Bayar was able to find the basket. 4-1 now in favour of Mongolia. Here's Jose Ross, Myakmas Suren. Two point delivered by Jose Ross. 6-1 now, Mongolia in the lead. Here comes Tip Kanok for Thailand. Tip Kanok surely, nope. Off the rim. And Saigon now. And Saigon, and good pass there towards Basaya from Saigon. Two shot from Basaya. And the third time asking, Basaya was able to slot it home. The seven point for Mongolia here. Franco off the rim, picked up here by Mongolia. Jose Ross from behind the arc into the net. It is working out nicely for Mongolia currently. 
Point number nine for Mongolia from Uzi Ross. Nicola Franco off the rim at the end of the 12th second. Now back to Mongolia, Uzi Ross. He likes to take the shot from behind the arc. He takes it to the basket. A good pass for Bazaya. Bazaya delivering point number 10. Well, one team is looking to be in a hurry to win here. With about 7.45 remaining on the clock. Mongolia with a 10-2 lead over Thailand. And Saikan, another shot off the rim by Saikan. Saritnet to Franco. Back to Saritnet. Saritnet lost the ball. Back to Mongolia here with Uzi Ross. Decided for the two-pointer off the rim. Yes, Franco. Thailand in blue. Trails by eight points here to Mongolia. And a shot from uh, Franco. No basket. Still in play. And Saikan goes with a two-pointer. Hit the rim instead. But still possession being kept by them. And Uzi Ross. A nice layup there from Uzi Ross. Mongolia, point number 11 for them. Franco missing the target there. At the sound of the whistle, first foul from Mongolia. As we take a look at this action replay, Uzi Ross making full use. Unable to lay it up into the net for Mongolia. 11-2, the lead here with 6.50 still remaining on the clock here. Well, Thailand need to regroup, reconvene and replan their strategy. Taking on Mongolia. The team that has been playing some great basketball, 3x3 this week. And a free throw here awarded to Thailand with Nicola Franco. With a chance to take Mongolia to uh, Thailand to three, but nope, couldn't do it. Now back to Mongolia and Saikan, the smallest but the fastest player and able to find the basket. That's a great effort there from Insaikan. Point number 12 for Mongolia. Well defended there by Sain Baya. Still in play. Jose Ross going for the two-pointer there. Jaim Sawat picks it up for Thailand. Jaim Sawat with Tip Kanak and also Franco. Franco goes to the basket. And the shot at the end of the 12th second. Sain Baya, surely. Easily done by signed by a point number 13, Mongolia. James Sawat, two shot, the shot from behind the arc by James Sawat. Well, Mongolia is looking very good with an 11 point, a healthy lead here over Thailand. From behind the arc once more, here comes Uzi Ross with a two pointer into the net. That man can do no wrong today. Uzi Ross Miak Masuran. 15-2. You can see from the action replay here. Precision nicely done by Uzi Ross. Body language wise, Thailand is not looking so good. Under real pressure here. Mongolia is really marauding here. 15 to the lead with 5.35 remaining on the clock. Mongolia is on course to march all the way to the final later this afternoon. Possession back to Mongolia. Ozil Ross once more. He likes to go with a two-pointer. Not this time. Jaim Sawat goes for the two-pointer as well. Off the rim. Picked up here by Sain Bayar. Sain Bayar, give it to me, says Ozil Ross. Oh, what a back pass to a sign by a excellent team play there from a Mongolia lapping it up. Point number 16 for the team. Signed by Ar here takes the ball from Bazaya. Still signed by Ar goes for the basket. 4:50 remaining on the clock here. Trail and trail. Thailand trails far behind. 
as we take a look once more. What skill there from Uzi Ross delivering the pass there for Sain Bayar. And they have this free throw to add to their tally of two points. Nicola Franco into the basket by Franco. That's point number three. And Saikan goes for the two pointer. Back to Franco. Franco goes for the two pointer as well, but there was a foul signal by the referee. And it is Thailand, so possession given back to Mongolia. Signed by up from behind the arc, goes for the two pointer off the board instead. Bazaya from a distance. Back to Thailand in blue. A foul there committed by Bazaya, the number four for them. Thailand with one foul so far. So possession back to Mongolia. And Saikan with the ball now for Mongolia. Oze Ross facing Tipka now. Oze Ross, he's quick. A straight drive, unchallenged there towards the basket. Point number 17 for Mongolia. And again, Oze Ross going for the basket again. And a pass towards and Saikan at the back. And Saikan goes for the two pointer. Thailand, Thailand with Tip Kanok. Saritnet picks up the ball, but out of line, out of bound there. As we take a look once more at this piece of action. Sublime skill there from Ozi Ross. Myak Masuren delivering another point for Mongolia. They are in a very handsome lead here. 17 3 over Thailand. Okay, back to behind the arc for Mongolia. Bazaya and Saigon. And Saigon, what a shot there into the basket. Great work there from Saigon. They are getting closer to the win here with 18 3 over Thailand. Needing three points to wrap up the game as we take a look at this action replay. And what a nice layup, dribbling the ball with his left and then slotting it with his right into the basket. Sarit net here for Thailand. At the end of the shot clock, and Tip Kanak able to slot it home out the rebounded ball for Thailand. Oh, sails all the way into the basket. A two pointer takes them to within a point for the win outright. Thailand has point number five. Basaya goes for the two pointer. Picked up here by Sarit net. Saritnat facing in Saikan. Look at the sheer difference in body size of the two players there. And Thailand still has possession. As we take a look at this action replay there, the point delivered by Tip Kanok. So 25, Mongolia with 2.53 remaining on the clock and needing just one point to seal this win and with that to confirm their progress into the final it's not looking good for Thailand being outplayed here by Mongolia and Saikan Ozi Ross and also Basan Bayar here for Mongolia Sain Bayar keeps the ball from behind the arc. Two shot from him. Franco. Franco takes the ball to the basket. Goes for the shot. And second time of asking into the basket. Point number six for Thailand. And Saikan. Oh, what a pass there towards Sain Bayar. A great team play there 
and Saigon with a lap towards Sain Bayar to deliver the winning point. Mongolia in the final with a win here over Thailand. Final score here, Mongolia 21 and Thailand 6. Let's take a look at this action replay once more. And overhead pass towards Sain Bayar. Sain Bayar knew he had the easiest of tasks to slot it home. Congratulations to Mongolia. So up next, the action that we'll have here in Parangin Mall will be in Woman Pool B between China and Japan. That is happening next. So be sure to join us back and stay with us here.
Okay, we're back. Undercard here in Prangin Mall in Penang Island, Malaysia. Remainder of the pool games. Two more pool games left here in Woman Pool B. It is between the two Asian giant China and Japan to determine the winner from Pool B. So who will it be? China or Japan? And here are Team China represented here by Luo Jin Yu, Kun Huang, Guo Xiaoni and Chen Ming Ling. The four players carrying the torch for China. And they will be up against a Team Japan who has been going great guns this week. And Japan without Mayu Lucy Kubota today. And they will have Kari Nimori with Mona Tateyama taking the place of um, Mayu Lucy Kubota. Norika Kono and last but not least is Rika. Okuyama. So these are the four players for Team Japan in red. And they will be looking for the win over Team China. It's going to be a close battle as it's always been between the two teams. We have Ryan and uh, Della Torre and Tan Kian Hua as the two referees for this game between Japan and China. So all system go here for the battle between Team China and Team Japan. Ten minutes will be allocated. Or well, the first team to reach 21 points will win the game outright. Kono, Okuyama and Imori for Japan. While for China, it will be Mingling, Jin Yu and also Kun Huang. So Norika Kono to start the game for Japan. Okuyama goes for the two-pointer there. Picked up by Jin Yu. Dispossessed. And already a first foul from uh, Team Japan. And the ball back to China. From behind the arc, Kun Huang left it for Ming Ling. Ming Ling into the basket from behind the arc. A two-pointer delivered by Ming Ling. Uh, that's the end of the shot clock. Xin Yu, Ming Ling denied by Okuyama. As we take a look at this action replay once more, Mingling precision shot, still straight into the basket from the number 11. Karin Imori. Imori. Number 10 is Tatiyama. Okuyama. Looks for the space. Here comes Okuyama. No more time there. Taking too long a time. Only 12 seconds allowed. Shot clock. Still China in the lead here with two to nothing. And mingling for China. Zin Yu picks it up but went tumbling down. Lo Zin Yu. And Japan with a second foul of the day and China will have possession once more Guo Xiaoni here number 8 goes for the two pointer off the rim so back to team China for the possession at the back still lead by 2 to nothing almost a minute being played here Kun Huang for China. Kun Huang takes it to the basket, unable to slot it home. Likewise, but it is Chen Mingling. Mingling out of the rebounded ball. Unable to deliver the next point for Team China. Kono, off the rim from Kono. 
Okuyama picks it up for Japan. This is Imori. Imori to Kono. Imori with a two-pointer off the board there. And that's the end of the 12-second shot clock. A real battle that we have in hand here between Japan and China. Still early. 8.21 remaining on the clock. Kun Huang, Xin Yu picks it up. Gave it to Xin Xiaoni. It is Xiaoni, takes it to the board. Goes for the shot off the board. Luo Xin Yu with a throw off the board. <laughs> and Karin Imori went down to the floor. Another foul this time is from China. China with the first foul and Japan already with two foul. And it will be Japan's ball from behind the arc. Emori. Kono. Okuyama. Okuyama back to Kono. Kono takes it to the ball. Kun Huang now for China. This is Jin Yu. Min Ling back to Jin Yu. A real battle here. It's not going to be easy for either team to find the space to take the shot. China, China already has uh, three points here. Now they can add to that with his free throw to be taken by Luo Jin Yu. Jin Yu off the rim. Ming Ling picks it up. Go Xiaoni. Xiaoni. Back to Min Ling. Xiaoni. Off the rim. Looks for the two-pointer. And it is Japan now. Imori. Imori goes for the two-pointer as well, but off the target. A real battle here. Three to nothing in favor of China. And back to behind the court with a Kun Huang. And again, another foul spotted by the referee. The fourth one from Japan. Means uh, China will have possession from behind the arc. Kun Huang. Kun Huang is fast. Goes for the point. Gets it. It's 4 to nothing now in favour of China. Imori. Well defended by Luo Jin Yu, denying Karin Imori. As we take a look at that run from Kun Huang. She left Norika Kono in a wake. And delivered another point for China. Seven oh five remaining on the clock. You may have a feeling that this one will go all the way to the final 10 minutes. The full 10 minutes, that is. And the first timeout given for both teams. China in the lead 4 to nothing. A real battle. And Japan's have yet to be off the mark. Kono, Imori, Okuyama. And also Tate Yama. They are up against um, Jin Yu, Kun Huang, Xiaoni, and also Ming Ling. The four Chinese players certainly in their element today. And the winner will book the passage to the final later this afternoon. So here's China. Ming Ling holding on to the ball. Another foul from Japan. So China back with the possession from behind the arc. Jin Yu, Kun Huang, or Ming Ling. Ming Ling, the chance that to slot it home. Now back to Japan. This is Imori. Imori left it for Kono. Kono, a little slip there. Imori will go for the shot here. Too high from Karin Imori. So back to China. Ming Ling will deliver the point. Will it be counted? No. 
Well, this is the pass from uh, Jin Yu to Ming Ling. But it's not counted. So still stay at 4-0 in favour of China. Tateyama for Japan. Okuyama with a shot off the rim. Japan yet to get off the mark. But it is China adding on to their tally. Five points now via Chen Ming Ling. Imori. Imori goes for the two-pointer. Didn't get it. Jin Yu for China. Surely another point delivered by Chen Ming Ling. China looks good here. 5.55 remaining on the clock. Okuyama tries with another shot there. Kun Huang into the basket. Well, China racking up the point now. 8 to nothing. Imori for Japan. Oh, a pass that was meant for Okuyama. Okuyama had to duck. As we take a look at this action replay with Kun Huang delivered yet another precision shot into the basket. China in the lead here, 8 to nothing. Xiaoni. Go Xiaoni. Goes for the shot. Picked up by Okuyama. Japan is finding it tough to find the space for them to move, to make their move and for them to find the basket. Japan's ball now with Imori. Kono. This is Okuyama. Okuyama against Mingling. Goes for the shot at the end of the shot clock. Uh, back to Japan with Imori. Finally, they are off the mark with a two-pointer delivered by Karin Imori. Here comes Go Xiaoni for China. Delivers yet another point. 9-2 now in favour of China. Well, you can say a much change at China in this tournament from winning the first day in both categories. But after that, it was Japan and Mongolia have been showing their prowess. But now day four, looks like China back in the game. Delivering yet another point, 10-2 now over Japan. Tateyama for Japan, too high. Picked up by Kun Huang. Zhen Yu for China, surely into the basket, 11-2. It's looking good for China. And Modi finally finding the mark from under the basket for Japan. Kono. Imori from behind the arc into the basket from Karin Imori. Five now Japan and 11 China. Kun Huang with the possession takes it to the basket. Off the board and into the basket by Kun Huang. Four minutes remaining on the clock. Now Japan. Kono lobbing it into the basket. That's point number six for Japan. Well, 3.50 on the clock here. And China is still in the lead. 12-6. Well, what a game we have here. Six fouls already from Japan and just the one foul from China. If China wins this one, it will be them and Ch Thailand who will be in the final later this afternoon to complete the fixture in the women's uh, category in the pool stage this is the game well, right after this will be the final pool game between Japan and China in the men's category so we're back on the court here China has the ball. Ming Ling. This is Tateyama. 
Okuyama for Japan. Okuyama takes the ball. Tries to find the space. It is Imori at the end of the 12th second. No luck there for Japan. As they try after try to find the space, to find the shot. Now they will begin again from behind the arc with uh, China. Go Xiaoni. Xiaoni takes the ball. And another shot sails into the basket from China, from Go Xiaoni. Kono to Okuyama. Still stuck at six currently. Mori. Mori runs with the ball. Tries to find the basket. Well defended by Xiaoni. Jin Yu here. Go Xiaoni. Xiaoni into the basket. Good defending there from Okuyama. Kono to Okuyama. Sails into the basket from underneath it. A real physical battle this has turned to, to be between Japan and China as we take a look once more at this piece of action. Okuyama lobbing it into the basket of some good work there from Kono. So 13-7 China leads Japan with 2.52 remaining on the clock. Don't think this will go all the way to the 21 points. But China holding on to the lead here. Six point lead over Japan. Kun Huang. Kun Huang. A lobbing pass towards a Ming Ling. Ming Ling made no mistake slotting it home. Point number 14. Imori with a pass towards Kono. Kono tries to find a space. Okuyama with a two pointer too hard. Picked up by Ming Ling. And another foul spotted from China. Then they will begin again from behind the arc. 2.24 remaining on the clock here. China's with a seven points lead over Japan. Norika Kono. Tateyama to Okuyama. Kono back to Okuyama from behind the arc of the rim. Here we go. Another shot from Japan. Tateyama off the rim. Kun Huang has the ball. Ming Ling from behind the arc off the target. 154 remaining on the clock. A player went down on the floor there. It's Go Xiaoni. A real physical battle taking place here between Japan and China. The two Asian giants. Who will it be, Japan or China? But it's looking good. Looking mighty good for China, actually. And they will have these three throws. Two throws for China. To take them closer to the win. Xiaoni. First of two into the basket. And another one to extend the lead over Japan. Go Xiaoni. Into the basket as well. It's 16 China and 7 Japan. And another timeout call. A real challenge for Japan without Mayu Lucy Kubota today. Now they had to work their strategy around the four players that are present for Team Japan today. Tateyama, Okuyama, Imori and also Norika Kono. So here we go to continue with the game. And it is uh, Kono with the possession from behind the arc. Emori. Emori with a pass towards Okuyama. Another foul spotted by the referee. So possession from behind the arc for Japan. 
Kono, Imori. Imori back to Kono. Okuyama with a shot. Not finding the target. Not quite for Okuyama. But China, on the other hand, has been luckier with all the shot from behind the arc. They have been the better team, surely. 17-7. As we take a look once more at this piece of skill from Chen Mingling reversing the shot and into the basket. 17-7 in favour of China. And Japan has possession currently. Okuyama off the rim again. Time and again, it's not been a lucky day, a good day at the office for Ririka Okuyama with her shots from behind the arc. Just could not sail into the basket. 1.11 on the clock. Time is almost running out now for Japan. Kono with the possession. Okuyama left it for Imori, goes for the two-pointer, two shot. Picked up by Xin Yu. Mingling with a shot, a two-pointer. What a shot there from Chen Mingling. They are two points away from the win here. Kono for Japan. Lobbing it, not finding the target. Back to Okuyama. Off the rim as well. China now can wrap up this game with two-pointer. Xin Yu off the rim. Picked up by Mingling into the basket. One point away. From the win, with about 30 seconds remaining, this game is certainly for China to lose. And finally, at long last, another point for Japan. And Japan just needing to let the clock run out its course. 18.2 seconds remaining and 28. This will be the opportunity for Chan Ming Ling to wrap up the game with a free throw. Well, two free throws, she only need one. The first one into the basket and with that, the win for China over Japan. A good win, that is. Final score here, China 21 and Japan 8. It is China who will move into the final later today where they will play Thailand. So final score once more, China 21 and Japan 8. So up next will be the final pool game. Men pool B between China and Japan as well. So that's happening soon. Stay with us. And we're back on the court here. The final pool game in Pool B between Japan and China. Japan represented by Kejiro Mitani, Kinkai Takumi Masuko, and Ryo Sadohara. China making their way onto the main court. Liu Junhu, Xiao Chiaren. Zhao Jiayi and last but not least, Li Haonan for Team China. So Team China to determine the winner from Pool B. Who will it be into the final? 
either China or Japan. Donald Francis Green and Nico Lim Sok Hoon as a two referees for this game between China and Japan. We are all set. So Masuko and also Zhao Jiaren done with a coin toss to determine the team that will begin the game. Okay, more practice throws here as we wait for the signal from the referee to begin the game. So to determine the winner of Pool B that will take on Mongolia in the final between China and uh, Japan. Okay, we are all set for the final game in the pool stage, in the group stage before the two final later today in the men's and women's category. So this one pits China and Japan together as the two teams in pool B. So the winner will earn the right to play Mongolia in the final later today. So we are on. With China, Zhao Jiaren drawing first blood for Team China, King Kai, Saduhara, and also Mitano for Japan. Back to China with Zhao Jiaren picked up there by Saduhara, King Kai. King Kai, Saduhara at the end of that whistle, able to slot it home. So first point for Japan as well, as you can see from this action replay, Saduhara, despite the challenge, able to find a basket. And with that, he will have the opportunity with his free throw for Japan, Rio Saduhara. Into the basket and Japan in the lead here, 2-1 over China. Jaran slam dunking it. Finding the path for him. Unable to make the run towards the basket and with the jumps, two hands into the basket. Point number two for China as well. King Kai for Japan here. Masuko lost the ball to Jaren. Jaren takes it to the basket and a nice layup there from Jaren. 
Masuko as well replying soon enough from Japan. It's point for point here. Yeah, let's take a look at this action replay. Takumi Masuko with a reverse shot there into the basket. That's for point number three for Japan. Jaren. Shao Jaren at the end of the 12 second shot clock. So possession back to Team Japan from behind the arc here. Saduhara tries to pick up the ball, but too strong for him. It's gone out of bound. So possession back to China, Zhao Jiayi. Jiayi. This is Zhao Jiayi. Tries with a shot there. Haunan for China. Jun Hu. Jun Hu against Mitani. And Jun Hu able to slot it home. Good work there for Team China. 4 3 in the lead. King Kai. King Kai now goes with the two pointer shot of the board. Still early in the game here with China in the lead 4 3 over Japan. And possession from behind the arc goes back to China. Xiao Chiaren, one of the live wire for China. Certainly one of the danger men for them. King Kai, his quick, speedy player, Sadohara, always with the brute force and the skill to force his way through. He's gone out again. Possession back to Japan. Masuko with King Kai. Tries to find the space. The space. It is King Kai tries a little bit short. Back to China, Liu Junhu. Xiao Jiayi. Xiao Jiayi takes it to the basket. And easy task there for Xiao Jiayi. Another point for China. Now Masuko. Well, he created his own path and got the point there. It's gone out of bounds. A real battle here. Likewise. As it was between the women's team. And now we are watching Japan and China. The men's section battling it out. Point for point. China just a one point lead over Japan. Liu Jun Hu. Sharon again forcing his way through. And another foul sported from Japan. Therefore, the free throw given to China with Zhao Jiaren. The opportunity to extend the lead for China here. Jiaren. Good shot by Jiaren. Precision. Nicely done by Zhao Jiaren. Now here comes Takumi Masuko. Masuko. Tries to keep the ball in play. And it's gone out of bounds. So therefore possession given back to Japan. From behind the arc. Masuko Saduhara. Saduhara well denied by Jaren. Now back to China. Junhu. Junhu. And China surely another point for them. By Xiao Chiayi. Some good work there by Liu Junhu. China leads 7-4. And another free throw here given to China. Xiao Jiayi. Into the basket. Adding to China's tally of eight. Sadohara goes for the two-pointer off the rim. And the first timeout call with about 6.59 remaining on the clock here. 
And a four points separating the two teams here. China in the lead, 8-4. Still early to call. Still only four points. And Japan trails uh, China. And both teams has committed uh, two fouls each. Okay, back on the action here with uh, Masuko with the ball. Saduhara and Kinkai for Japan. Kinkai goes for a two-pointer, sail straight into the basket by Kinkai. A foul called as we take a look at this action replay. It is Kinkai, a little jump and straight into the basket. A two-pointer nicely done by that man Kai. So possession back to Japan. Mitani, Saduhara, back to Kinkai. Kinkai, holding on to the ball, takes it to the basket and just at the nick of time, able to slot it home. It's seven Japan and eight China. This is a one point game here. Jun Ho into the basket, restoring the lead. Two points a lead over Japan. Kejiro Mitani goes to the basket as well. Denied by Lee Haunan. Well defended by Haunan of China. Denying Mitani. China has a two point lead over Japan. 9 7 with 6 15 remaining on the clock. Another hotly contested battle here between two teams. It is Japan and China, two of the favourites in this uh, competition. But of course, not forgetting other teams like Mongolia and Thailand, who are also going uh, producing some great basketball, 3x3 basketball this week. And both teams are actually awaiting in the final. Thailand will be meeting China in the final of the women's category and Mongolia awaits the winner of this two game or of this game between the two teams. Nope, we are yet to get the all clear signal to resume with the battle here. China's nine and Japan seven with six fifteen remaining on the clock. King Kai and also Liu Jun who's sitting this one out. So we are ready to continue with the game with possession for China. It is Xiao Jaren receiving the ball from Xia Yi, able to slot it home. Point number 10 for them. Saduhara ran into, ran onto. Masuko still Saduhara now. Keeps the ball, takes it to the basket. Almost, almost finding the basket there. So possession at the back once more. Or rather free, a free throw actually given to Japan. After foul from China earlier. So Saduhara. To takes them to eight. No, he couldn't. Off the rim. So back to China here. Another point delivered by Xiao Chia Yi. It's 11 7 here. And Japan with a quick response from Masuko. As we take a look at this uh, effort from Masuko, a quick response from him. Here we go, China. 20 is Shao Jiayi against King Kai. Jiayi takes it to the basket and able to slot it home. 12 for China and 8 Japan. Saduhara with another attempt at the basket. Couldn't produce a point. Shao Jiayi here facing King Kai. Still Jiayi goes for the two pointer, too hot, too strong from Shao Jiayi. It is China with a four-point lead over Japan. And now China will have possession at the back. 
Jiayi facing Mitani. Left it for Junhu. Liu Junhu. Another shot of the rib. Picked up by Sadohara of Japan. And Sadohara tries to pass it towards uh, Mitani. But it rolled out of bound for possession back to Team China from behind the arc. Xiao Jiaren. Junhu. And a pass towards uh, Jiaren where the idea was good. But the ball went out of bound instead. 4.55 remaining on the clock here. Do you think this one will go to 21 as well? Japan is battling it out. They are still trailing by four points. Against a much better looking uh, China. Who did very well in the earlier game between China and Japan in the women's uh, category. Where they won. Masuko able to slot it home. That's point number nine for Japan. As we take a look at this action replay once more, despite the challenge attempt from Lee Haunan, Masuko was able to slot it home. And a foul on him means a free throw awarded to Japan. And Takumi Masuko can add to that tally for Japan. Into the basket from Masuko. 10-12 now. Sharon goes for the basket. Nicely done by Sharon. 13-10. Masuko now for Japan. Saduhara, got to be quick. Into the basket. Went down on the floor. A bit unlucky. Couldn't find a target there. Rio Saduhara. As we take a look at this uh, action replay. A solo run there from uh, Zhao Chiaren, producing the point for China. And now Saduhara with a free throw. Into the basket from Rio Saduhara. And another throw given uh, to Saduhara. To take Japan to 12 within a point to China. Oh, interception from Masuko. Masuko goes with a shot. Missed it and back to China here. Xiao Jiaren, Junhu. Mitani tries to intercept. Off the rim. Now two players lock in battle with for the ball. Masuko and Xiao Jiayi. And possession given back to Team Japan. Well, it is China. 13-12, 4-0-4 remaining on the clock here. Junhu. Xiao Chiayi. Back to Junhu. Junhu tries to take the aim. And a nice solo effort there from Junhu. Extending the lead for China. Sadohara as well. A quick reply there from Sadohara. Likewise, Sharon slotting the ball home. The points are coming in now. Both teams are racking up the point. Sadohara takes it to the basket. Once more. Nicely done there, Rio Sadohara. 14 Japan and 15 China. Shao Chiaren. China now will have the opportunity. Nope. Well defended by King Kai. As we take a look once more at this action replay. Sadohara. Nice layup there. Sending the ball into the net. So within one point to China at 14 Japan and 15 China with 321 remaining on the clock. Okay, another time out here. A chance to reprieve, a chance to re-discuss the strategy. Moving forward, they have 3.21 remaining on the clock. Referee is eager for them to continue with the game. The three 
of King Kai, Mitani and Masuko for Team Japan. Up against uh, Team China, the three of Xiao Jiayi, Li Haonan and also Xiao Jiaren. Jiaren with the possession. Runs with the ball. Oh, nicely done there. One, two between Jiaren and Jiayi. Japan now with a two-pointer attempt by Mitani into the basket. Kejiro Mitani and another foul on him means Japan now will have two free throw as we take a look at this action replay. Great effort there from uh, Mitani. 15-16, Japan can regain the lead here. That one goes into the basket. 16 all. And another shot will give Japan the lead. Keichiro Mitani into the basket. So two points delivered by Mitani. 17 China, but not for long. Chiaren level the score soon after. King Kai goes for the point. King Kai. Finding point number 18 is getting oh so close now. 18-17. Japan looking for a quick response. Jaren goes for a shot into the basket. Pushed in by Zhao Jiayi. And here's Sadohara, left it for King Kai. King Kai. Need to shoot quick, out of time, off the board. Well, all the action happening here, they are tied at 18 all. Three points needed by either teams to win a game. It's as easy as that. But it's just said and done. Only two, 23 remaining on the clock. Eight in all. Any foul by China now warrant two free throws for Japan. So they need to be careful. So back on the court here for the remainder of the action here between the two Asian giants, Japan and China. Jaren. Jaren up against Mitani. And the lot picked up by Sadohara. Now's the chance for Japan. Masuko. Masuko takes it to the basket. Goes for a shot into the basket by Masuko. 19-8, 19-18. Oh, Jiayi, the opportunity to level the score. Nope, not quite. Yes, into the basket by Liu Junhu. Which team will it be? It is Masuko. China needing a two-pointer here. Liu Junhu tries to block the shot. 20-20. Oh, what a battle here. One team will win, but which one? We are not sure at this point of time because they are locked 2020 with 140 remaining on the clock. What a game, what a game. Intense moment here. The battle between China and Japan has come down to the wire here. Possession to Japan. Needing just one point. King Kai, Saduhara. Oh, back to Masuko to win the game. No, nope. missed it. And China, the pass towards. Oh, well. All the actions are happening here. We thought Masuko would nail it for Japan. He missed the shot. China is still alive. And now possession for China. It is. Zhao Jiaren goes for the shot. Missed it. Back to Japan. Mitani picks it. Saduhara, one point will win the game. Kinkai goes for the shot here. And a foul. Foul on Kinkai. Oh my. A dramatic finale that we are having here in this game between Japan and China. And the two free throws for Japan. 
King Kai needing to put his one in. Into the basket and with that, the win over China, 21-20. A close battle. It is Japan into the final against Mongolia with his final win over China. Once more, the final score, Japan 21, China 20. What a game. Congratulations to Japan. Well done to China. A closely fought battle it is. But it is Japan prevail with the win here over China. It's not yet over. As we're down to the final now in the women's category at 3.30 and 3.55 for the men's final. So the day is not yet over. So be sure to continue and join us back right after this.